EZLA, Empire Classic Radio News. From Empire Bay to the world, I'm Bob Berriman. The Office of Price Administration was robbed yesterday as unknown assailants made off with a good deal of gas ration stamps. Police currently have no information as to who stole the stamps and are asking for assistance in finding the culprit or culprits. Any citizens with information are asked to contact the Empire Bay Police Department. When new details come forth, you'll hear them first right here on Empire Classic Radio. I'm Bob Berriman, and this is more of Empire Bay's best music. ECLA, Empire Classic Radio News. From Empire Bay to the world, I'm Bob Berriman. Four luxurious Delizia Grand America automobiles have been found destroyed, seemingly an act of random vandalism. The -the top-of-the-line Italian sports cars were found wrecked in a Millville warehouse this afternoon. No arrests have been made at this time, but police are investigating this truly senseless crime. I'm Bob Behrman, and this is Empire Bay's best music, ECLA. For ECLA, Empire Classic Radio, this is Bob Behrman with urgent breaking news. This just in. The West Side Mall has been rocked by violence, as Empire Bay police were involved in a shootout with unidentified criminals. We do know that the criminals have been arrested, but nothing more is known at this time. More news on this story as we receive it. Now, let's get back to our regular programming on ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. ECLA, Empire Classic Radio News. From Empire Bay to the world, I'm Bob Barrowman with an update on last week's robbery at the Office of Price Administration. Police are said to be looking for a dark-haired man of medium build and height who was last seen selling gas ration stamps at service stations across the city. Police are appealing to citizens for more information. Perhaps you saw this man at your local service station. Think hard, and maybe you can help apprehend this criminal. With such a vague description, Empire Bay's finest need all the help they can get. I'm Bob Barrowman for Empire Classic Radio. We interrupt the music to bring you this breaking news. For ECLA, I'm Bob Berriman. There has apparently been a large-scale gunfight at a distillery in Sand Island. And to make matters worse, the distillery is now completely engulfed in flames after the shootout earlier today. Empire Bay police will have to wait until the flames die down to begin their investigation. Now, back to your favorite music on Empire Classic Radio. I'm Bob Berriman. Join Empire Classic Radio this Tuesday morning for Wartime Answers. Information about the war for your young fella who's thinking of serving. Only on ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. Empire Classic Radio brings you All Points in Between, Sunday mornings at 7. All Points in Between, Empire Bay's most informative radio program. Only on ECLA. This Wednesday at 8 p.m., join Empire Classic Radio for the Patrick Houlihan Orchestra as they play live in our studios. Wednesday at 8 on ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. You are listening to Empire Classic Radio. I'm Bob Barrowman. Now there's a wonderful piece that wouldn't be possible to play here on ECLA if it weren't for the wonderful folks at the United States Office of Price Administration who remind you to pick up your ration books on Tuesdays, as Tuesdays are the slowest time of the week. More of Empire Bay's best classic music now on ECLA. ECLA, always bringing you the classics. That one was a big hit during the First Great War, and our veterans are now enjoying more comfort and peace of mind thanks to the fine folks at the Empire Veterans Fund. Make sure to visit them today to donate and help make every returning soldier feel more at home when he comes home. This is Empire Classic Radio, ECLA. The classics you love, the news you need. This is Empire Classic Radio, ECLA. Soothing music for all you night owls. This is Empire Classic Radio, ECLA. You are listening to Empire Classic Radio, ECLA. E-C-L-A. Classic music for a classy city. Empire Classic Radio. Delta Radio has got that jazz. 
I'm Walt Williams. In the news, the police are still perplexed as to the identity of the person or persons who found their way past security guards at the Price Administration building last week and made off with thousands of dollars worth of gas ration stamps. Whether or not this was an inside job isn't known just yet, but police are reportedly questioning the OPA employees, as the details of the crime suggest that this thief came armed with information. One key piece of info the thief apparently didn't have was that those stamps he stole were probably expired before he even got out of the building. The OPA, meanwhile, is already shopping for a new safe. For Delta Radio News, this is Walt Williams with some big old blues on EDLT. <laughs> EDLT is sorry to interrupt your enjoyment of this smoking Delta artist, but we have some breaking news to inform you of. Police recently interrupted a smash-and-grab robbery at the Westside Mall, which then descended into a mass gunfight. Shots rang out as Empire Bay's finest engaged the criminals. Luckily, the felons have been arrested. I repeat, a gun battle has taken place at the Westside Mall. No fatalities reported, but police have arrested the gunman. We take you back now to EDLT's regular upbeat down-home sound on Delta Radio. EDLT. I'm Walt Williams, EDLT Delta Radio. I'm Walt Williams, as we check the news. The Price Administration robbery story has some new developments. Police are very interested in talking to a medium-billed, medium-height, dark-haired man who's been linked to the crime by several eyewitnesses. If you have any information on this person, contact the authorities immediately. Why, that description could be me. <laughs> oh, they're going to need all the help they can get. For EDLT, this is Walt Williams. EDLT Delta Radio. I'm Walt Williams breaking into the blues for a story coming to us from Sand Island. The Misery Lane Distillery is in flames after reports of a massive gunfight. The authorities believe that a military-issue machine gun was used in the battle. Police currently have no suspects and can only look on as firemen try to put out the raging fire. Hmm. No arrests yet, but police are working hard to obtain leads. Delta Radio gets back into the music now on EDLT. You've got it on Delta Radio. Jazz and more. Guaranteed not to bore. Delta Radio. EDLT. Empire Bay. Delta Radio is EDLT. For the latest and greatest in jazz and blues. Keep it locked to this station. EDLT. Delta Radio. Empire Bay. EDLT. Delta Radio. Stay tuned for more Radio with Soul. Delta Radio. Empire Bay. EDLT. Delta Radio. Late night. Taking it real easy. Delta Radio. This is EDLT. Delta Radio. ECNR Empire Central Radio presents The News. I'm your commentator, Richard Foxbury. Well, it was pandemonium at the Price Administration office last night as unknown individuals broke in and made off with an unspecified amount of gas ration stamps. The police have released few details at this time, but what is known makes them think that this was an inside job. The thief, who apparently had no trouble with the guards, broke into a safe and made off with the ration books before making his escape. Again, to repeat, it is not known at this time how many stamps were stolen, although officials have confirmed that the bungling thief only took stamps that were hours away from expiring. Repeat, hours away from expiring. More to come as this story develops. For ECNR, Empire Central Radio News, I'm Richard Foxbury. ECNR, Empire Central Radio, I'm Richard Foxbury with a tune that's sweeping the nation from our own Empire Bay to the West Coast and back again. If you listen... I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but what's this? Well, uh, hot off the ECNR news desk, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a breaking news story in involving a shooting at... Yes, it appears at the West Side Mall. Uh, not much in the way of details here, folks. Forgive me as I go through it. Uh, well, it, it appears that the police have exchanged gunfire with unknown suspects. Uh, arrests have been made. I repeat, arrests have been made. But all Empire Bay residents, for their own safety, are advised to steer clear of the area until the police have completed their investigation. 
We'll have more on this important story as we receive the details. I'm Richard Foxberry on Empire Central Radio, ECNR. And now, back to the music. ECNR, Empire Central Radio presents the news. I'm your commentator, Richard Foxberry. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an update for you on last week's robbery at the Office of Price Administration. The Empire Bay Police Department and federal authorities advise you to be on the lookout for a man of medium height and medium build with dark hair who was seen lurking in the vicinity of the OPA on the night of the theft. If anyone within the sound of my voice has any information on this individual, please contact the authorities immediately. With a description like that, ladies and gentlemen, why, they'll need all the help they can get. For Empire Central Radio, I'm Richard Foxbury. Benny was gone with the draft. He's in the army now. We apologize for interrupting the music, folks, but we at ECNR have an important breaking news item. We are getting reports of a large-scale shootout at a Sand Island liquor distillery. Further information is unavailable at this time, ladies and gentlemen, as police cannot examine the scene due to the large fire that has consumed much of the building. More information as it comes on ECNR. And now, back to the music. From the east side to the west side, uptown to downtown, it's Empire Central Radio. E-C-N-R. Empire Central Radio, E-C-N-R. This is where the crooners hang their hats. E-C-N-R. Your radio station for the music you want and the news you need. Empire Central Radio. E-C-N-R. Empire Central Radio presents On the Home Front with Dan Paler. This Saturday morning, join Dan as he interviews Carla Dietrich wife of Empire Bay's own local war hero, Danny Dietrich, who will soon return home from the front lines of Germany. On the home front, this Saturday morning on Empire Central Radio, ECNR. Join Empire Central Radio tonight at midnight for the All Request Marathon, your favorite song requests for two hours, hosted by our good friend, Tim Tolliver. Only on ECNR. This Friday night, don't forget to tune in at 9 o'clock for the Jackie Scorner Mystery Hour, featuring the Jackie Scorner actors, bringing you all the hair-raising radio excitement and intense dramatic action you've come to expect. This Friday, tune in as a mysterious man on a train meets up with a gorgeous mall, and murder is the only destination. All of this and more this Friday night, only on ECNR. And there's another terrific piece of music for you folks. I'm Richard Foxberry for ECNR with some more wonderful music on the way that's almost as sweet as Swift Lemonade. Why, it's the only beverage I reach for when I need a lift after a long, stressful day here at the radio station. There's more music coming to you right now here on Empire Central Radio. E-C-N-R. Empire Central Radio, E-C-N-R. The only place to find today's biggest, most popular tunes. And I'll tell you folks, they sound even better when you listen to us on an RC-05 radio. I highly recommend that those of you who can spare the money, pick one up for yourself today. I guarantee you won't find a better radio at a better price than the RC-05 from Empire Electronics. So, put your hand on the dial and turn that RC05 up now for this one on ECNR. Yes, sorry, Bob. Only the best music in Empire Bay plays on Empire Central Radio, ECNR. And only the Elizabeth Radio from the Home Electrics Corporation has the sturdy, high-tech, monophonic sound to make those records swing and sing and your news updates crisp and crystal clear. So do yourself a favor, pick up an Elizabeth radio from the Home Electrics Corporation, a proud sponsor of Empire Central Radio, ECNR. ECNR, Empire Central Radio, with another smooth, velvety tune. Kind of like the taste of Big Break cigarettes. You know, as I sit here having a cigarette myself here in the studio, I believe that whether you're a fan of the rich taste of a red, the lighter flavor of a white, or that smooth finish of an old blue, no tobacco company gives you more choices than Big Break Cigarettes. Why, they're pretty much the ECNR of cigarettes. 
as we get into another great song from our vast library on Empire Central Radio. You are listening to ECNR. ECNR, all night, every night. Empire Central Radio, ECNR. Empire Bay's number one radio station. ECNR, supporting our troops abroad. Give them one from Empire Bay, boys. Press Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. Encouraging news from across the pond. The Belgians are now out from under Hitler's jackboot. Belgium is now 100% Nazi-free as the Allies have forced the remaining Nazi troops out of Brussels and out of the country. Allied forces are now said to be heading east towards the German city of Duren as they pull the noose even tighter around the Kaiser's neck. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. U.S. troops advance towards the Roar River at a feverish pace. With the blistering cold air on their faces and the crunch of snow under their feet, U.S. troops took the town of Schmidt after maneuvering through minefields and pockets of resistance in what is, ultimately, a mission to take control of the valuable Roar River. American troops are looking to secure the river and its dams in order to prevent Nazi troops from flooding the valleys below, which would delay the Allied march into the heart of Germany. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. In what Defense Department officials are calling a target of high importance, the Japanese-controlled island of Iwo Jima continues to be bombarded with U.S. and Allied ammunition. American B-29s are continuously bombing the island to annihilate the dug-in defenses of the Japanese. It's not known whether a land invasion is on the books, but sources in Washington, D.C. have not ruled it out just yet. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. The Soviets have attacked and captured the city of Elbing, Germany. In what has been a brutal and bitterly cold winter, the Soviet forces have taken the German city of Elbing. Losses were heavy for both sides, and the unbearable cold weather certainly couldn't have made things any easier. But somehow the Soviet forces prevailed. Encouraging news for Allied forces who have had their fill of the brutal winter conditions. Pretty soon it'll be Berlin or bust for the Ruskies. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. President Roosevelt returned to the White House today after a meeting of the men who have come to be known as the Big Three. In the European city of Yalta, not to be confused with his previous meeting on the Italian island of Malta, the president, along with Winston Churchill, persuaded Soviet leader Joseph Stalin that getting involved in the fight against the Japanese was in the best interest of all three nations. Before this meeting, the Soviets had only declared war on Germany. It's not known what President Roosevelt promised in return, but Stalin has pledged the full support of the Soviet armies in the war against Japan within three months of the surrender of Germany. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. In Better Late Than Never news, the country of Peru has joined in the fight against Germany and Japan. Peru, which operates under a socialist government, is the first South American country to join the Allied cause. Though encouraging, this action by Peru, as with many other countries who have only now seen fit to join the Allied war effort, is seen as a purely political move intended to guarantee it membership in the newly formed United Nations, as Allied victory over the Axis powers is now all but assured. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. The fighting in Eastern Europe leans more and more towards the Allies' favor as Soviet soldiers have liberated the city of Budapest after nearly two months of fierce fighting, defeating a Nazi garrison that was impeding their progress toward the German border. Soldiers of the Red Army are now on a downhill trek to the Nice River and are likely hoping to arrive before the Nazis can sabotage the bridges in a last-ditch effort to slow the inevitable invasion. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. The German city of Dresden is completely engulfed in flames today. Earlier this morning, a massive hail of bombs rained down from British and American bombers on the city of Dresden and the neighboring town of Saxony. Allied military leaders have stated that Dresden was targeted due to its status as a major military and industrial center, in addition to housing Nazi communication centers. Almost 4,000 tons of bombs were dropped, and over a dozen square miles of the city has been leveled. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. 
Not since Paul Revere has the phrase the British are coming been so important as British and Canadian forces have now reached the south bank of the Rhine River. Reports are still coming in, but it appears that the Allies have moved another step closer to victory in securing this symbol of Nazi resolve. The taking of the Rhine is viewed as key to the impending invasion of Germany. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. In an update to an earlier story we brought you here at Press Radio News, the massive bombing by U.S. and British air forces of the German city of Dresden continues to take its toll. The fires lit by thousands of bombs continue to burn, with seemingly no end in sight as this major Nazi transportation and communication center is reduced to rubble. The entire city is reportedly in flames, and civilian casualties are expected to be high. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Bad weather could not stop the Allied forces from an onslaught of significant proportions. Naval vessels sailed towards the volcano island of Iwo Jima just a few days ago, positioning themselves within striking distance for what has been a continuous onslaught of bombs and cannon fire. The bombardment paved the way for the ground invasion by the Marines of the 5th Amphibious Corps just yesterday. It's believed that the well-defended island is a key target for the pending invasion of Japan. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Just earlier this week, the might of the U.S. Naval and Air Forces took a red, white, and blue fist to the Japanese capital of Tokyo. U.S. B-29 bombers, supported by over a hundred naval vessels, performed bombing raids on the Japanese cities of Tokyo and Yokohama, delivering a blistering blow to the Japanese infrastructure. These U.S. forces are now en route to the Volcano Islands, where they are expected to assist in the invasion of Iwo Jima, an offensive that many view as key to U.S. victory over Japan. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. 30,000 U.S. Marines landed on the Japanese island of Iwo Jima yesterday in what military experts are saying is an attempt to secure the island's airfield, which could play a vital role in a possible full-scale invasion of Japan. The Marines are reportedly meeting with heavy resistance by Japanese troops who are attacking seemingly out of nowhere. Military strategists have said they believe the Japanese army is entrenched in hidden bunkers situated around the island. For Press Radio News... I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. Nuremberg, Germany. The birthplace of Baroque composer Johann Pachelbel turned into a symphony of destruction as bombs fell from the sky, destroying both train stations and railway marshalling yards. 900 U.S. B-17 bombers took part in the raid, and also in their crosshairs were sites believed to be key Nazi military factories, including those engaged in the production of airplanes, submarines, and tank engines. 23 U.S. bombers were lost in the raid. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Victory in the Philippines. U.S. troops met little resistance as they landed on the Philippine islands of Samar and Kapul yesterday. Victory in these islands, located in the eastern region of the Philippines, provided a much-needed morale boost to U.S. troops, who are facing more iron will from the Japanese forces. A repeat performance is on the mind of all Allied troops. Go get them, boys! For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Mom? Yes, dear? I want to help Daddy fight the Japanesers. Well, you can only do that if you drink your milk, Danny. I drink it every day with my cookies. That's right, and it's going to give you strong bones and muscles when you grow up. Just like Daddy? Just like Daddy, sweetie. Empire Bay Milk. Fresh from the farm to the front door or the front lines. Hey, Dick, what seems to be the problem? Oh, I can't seem to tune this station on this old radio here. I'm going to miss the darn news. Well, maybe you should get an RCO5 radio from Empire Electronics. An RCO5 radio? Yes, sir. The RCO5 is the most superb listening experience around. It has monophonotronic sound delivery and tuning, so you and the family won't miss one detail of the war reports. Well, that does it. I'm going to grab my hat and go get an RCO5 right now. The new RCO5 radio from Empire Electronics. It's luxury you can afford. Don't let a bad signal get in the way of the news you need to hear. With the new Elizabeth radio and its precision tuning technology from Home Electrics, you won't miss that all-too-important news report ever again. 
The Elizabeth Radio is optimized for the sound frequencies of the human voice, guaranteeing the best sound possible from every newscast. The Elizabeth Radio from Home Electrics, the best in home entertainment for you and your family. Hey, Tommy, can I bum a smoke? Sure, here, have a big break cigarette. All right. <sighs> wow, these big break whites sure are light. Thanks a bunch. No problem, Marty. No problem is right. Not with these big break whites. Big break filter cigarettes. Rich reds, light whites, and smooth blues. Take a break from it all. Beep, beep. All aboard the Road King 35. Driving your automobile uses precious gasoline and rubber that our troops desperately need. Instead of driving, you can walk, ride a bicycle, or you can let the Road King Bus Company take you where you need to go. Not only will you be doing your part to help the war effort, but you'll save money too, because Road King Bus Company is affordable. Ride to those you love with Road King, trusted for over 30 years. Mom? Yes, dear? I want to help Daddy fight the Japanesers. Well, you can only do that if you drink your milk, Danny. I drink it every day with my cookies. That's right. And it's going to give you strong bones and muscles when you grow up. Just like Daddy? Just like Daddy, sweetie. Empire Bay Milk. Fresh from the farm to the front door or the front lines. All across the globe, world events are happening at record pace. From the war overseas to the yard sale next door, nobody delivers the news faster than the Empire Times. Our top drawer reporters work at breakneck speeds to get you the late-breaking news as early as possible. So get your Times hot off the presses first thing in the morning. For the latest in Empire Bay and the world, nothing is faster or more reliable than the Empire Times. The Empire Times, the news you need to know. Hi, I'm Perry Shoon from Shoon and Sons Grocers. You know, I've been in the grocery business for over 35 years now, and soon I'll be handing over the reins to my sons, Perry Jr. and Gunther. The Shoon family wants you to know that even now when times are lean, we strive to maintain the best selection of groceries for you and your family. So for all your grocery needs, come to Shoon and Sons Grocers, Empire Bay's favorite groceries for over 35 years. Hi, this is the Empire Bay Cannon center fielder, Jeremy Sundstrom. I'll tell you, nothing beats the refreshing taste of Master Beer. Its crisp, refreshing taste is a real home run, and that's no surprise because Master Beer is slow-aged, with only the choicest hops and barley used in the brewing process. So take it from me, Jeremy Sundstrom, and grab yourself an ice-cold Master Beer. Master Beer, the freshest ingredients for the best taste. Press Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. A surprise attack on Allied Air Forces made for a deadly reprisal during Operation Bodenplatt just over a month ago. German Luftwaffe planes surged in early morning to the surprise of Allied forces in France, Belgium, and Holland. 200 Allied aircraft were destroyed, and another 150 were damaged before Allied fighter pilots took to the skies to exact swift retribution. When the smoke cleared, almost 300 of the Kaiser's flying brigade were destroyed with an estimated 200 German pilots killed, 20 of whom were formation leaders. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. In the Pacific, Japanese fighter pilots are running so low on ammunition and hope that they're relying on their sheer will as a last-ditch effort to win the war. From January 4th through the 8th, five ships have been sunk in the Gulf of Lingayen alone. The tactic, known as kamikaze, where Japanese pilots, due to shortages in fuel and bullets, are dive-bombing their planes into Allied warships, is sure suicide for the pilots who volunteer for the grim task. Though Allied forces are fighting back, they are still trying to figure out just how to effectively counter this desperate and horrific new form of aerial warfare. With Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Allied forces flexed their muscle on January 16th as they pushed back the Ardennes offensive, which was launched by Nazi troops in December. New reports indicate that the German armor has been left in pieces as the Allies continue their march toward Berlin, and victory gets even closer to fruition. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. January 17th, Warsaw, Poland. Polish flags fly high in celebration as the Polish people have now been liberated from the tyrannical grip of the invading Nazi forces. 
Soviet troops marched into the capital city and battled fierce resistance to expel the Germans from Polish soil, delivering yet another crushing blow to the already crumbling German forces. There are reports of heavy casualties on both sides of the conflict. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. God Save the Queen is the British national anthem, but as of today, Londoners are singing a new song. God, We Love Those Spitfires may be the more popular song now, as British Spitfire fighter planes have finally taken out a key Nazi factory, one that produced fuel for none other than the dreaded V-2 rocket. After several weeks of merciless punishment by this long-range menace, Londoners can breathe a sigh of relief now that the Royal Air Force appears to have severely crippled the Nazi terror for the foreseeable future. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, not in all my 15 years of doing the news have I ever had to report on such a horrific story, nor have I been privy to just the extent of some men's evil. But it is my duty to tell you that, upon liberating a Nazi prison camp in Auschwitz, Poland, Russian soldiers discovered mass graves as far as the eye can see. It is estimated that these graves contain the remains of thousands upon thousands of the Third Reich's prisoners, prisoners who likely succumbed to the same malnourishment and mistreatment that was endured by the survivors. More on this tragic revelation as it unfolds. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. The sky was raining devastation on the Nazi headquarters and surrounding buildings in Berlin just one week ago. In a massive show of strength, almost 1,000 B-17 Flying Fortresses blanketed the capital of the Third Reich with bombs in a massive and daring raid conducted by the U.S. Army Air Forces. The German capital is expected to fall into Allied hands within the coming weeks. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Malta, Italy was the planning ground for what is expected to be the final invasion of Germany. President Roosevelt has concluded his secret meeting with British Prime Minister Winston Churchill to draw up plans for a final offensive against Hitler's army. Not known is why Soviet leader Joseph Stalin was not present. Rumors are swirling that the Soviets may not be invited to participate in the rebuilding process. Either that, or they don't have good vodka in Malta. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Victory in Europe is at hand. That's the rumor anyway, as President Roosevelt is reported to be meeting with the leaders of Great Britain and the Soviet Union to determine how Europe will be divided amongst the Allies after Germany's imminent defeat. The meeting, which is taking place at a secret location, once again puts together the men who have come to be known as the Big Three, our own President Franklin Roosevelt, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin of the Soviet Union. Military experts are hoping this conference will result in an even stronger relationship between the United States and Great Britain and strengthen Western ties with the Soviet Union. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Manila in the Philippines. United States troops fighting alongside local guerrilla forces have begun taking back the Pacific nation's capital from its Japanese captors. U.S. forces have completely encircled the sprawling city and are now facing a Japanese occupation force estimated to be 20,000 strong. Early reports have already indicated that this could be one of the bloodiest battles yet seen in the Pacific. More on this story as the information comes in and, hopefully, the Japanese are pushed out of Manila. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. World War II in Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Though the fight is going well for the Allies, the United States Army is still in need of patriotic young Empire Bay men. If you want to be on the front lines of decency and all that is good, make sure to stop by your Army recruiting station today. Remember, you can make a difference. World War II in Empire Bay. You can make a difference. He was a World War I Navy veteran who entertained his fellow troops while serving his country. He's Jack Benny. And he's a Navy man who would encourage you to join the Navy and help achieve victory over the Japanese in the Pacific. Visit your closest recruitment station and sign up now. Remember, you can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. The bombing of Germany and its access command continues, as does the Army Air Force's need for more brave young pilots. If you'd like a front seat to action and excitement, be sure to see your Army Air Force's recruiters so that you, too, can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Your old scraps of metal are more valuable than you think. Every day, new military equipment must be manufactured for the war effort, and the metal used to make it is in scarce abundance. 
But you can help change that by donating your unused metal items. Whether it's a rusted out fender from that old Potomac Indian or a washboard that's seen better days, most any kind of metal is accepted and appreciated. Remember, you can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay, you can make a difference. Ladies, the War Production Board is encouraging you to save and donate lard and scraps of fat at your local butcher shop. What does the extra fat on your T-bone have to do with bombs dropping on Berlin? Well, you see, the fat can be used in the manufacture of explosives. In fact, glycerin, which is made from leftover fats and greases, is one of the most critical materials needed for the war effort. Three pounds of fat could provide enough glycerin to make a full pound of gunpowder. So make sure you take your fat down to the butcher shop today. Every little bit counts. Remember, ladies, even you can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Like any red-blooded American, you're probably asking yourself what you can do to help our boys overseas. Well, the Office of Civilian Defense has an answer to that question. And that answer is... Donation. Materials which are vital to the war effort. Materials like paper, tin, aluminum, and rubber are in short supply. And we don't need to tell you how much everyday items like soap, shampoo, and cigarettes are appreciated by our troops. Donate your unused items and help keep the war machine running and make a soldier's day a little bit brighter. Remember, you can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. The rubber on your tires is very important to the Allied war effort. Observe posted speed limits to help preserve the rubber on your wheels, because every little bit counts. Keep your speed at 35 and help the U.S. war machine thrive. Remember, you can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Uncle Sam wants you to donate your old rubber. Any old pieces of rubber that you may have lying around would be put to far better use by becoming part of the thousands of planes and vehicles being manufactured for our troops. So if you have old rubber lying around, take it down to your local donation center because our boys need that rubber to keep the war machine rolling. Remember, you can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Who doesn't love their automobile? Everyone does, of course, but do you love it more than your son, your brother, or your nephew who's serving overseas? The answer is a resounding no. So before you get into your car and use that precious gasoline, think about your loved one who's fighting in Europe or the Pacific. Even if your car gets a whopping 20 miles to the gallon, consider taking a bus or train instead. You can also walk or use a bicycle to get where you're going. The gas you save just might be the gas that saves a life in the war. Remember, you can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay, you can make a difference. Gasoline is an important commodity in the fight against tyranny. Now, you may think it's also important for your daily commute, but what you may not know is that there is a bus stop within a couple blocks of almost any destination in Empire Bay. And for those long-distance trips, odds are the train system can get you there faster and more economically than driving. Just a couple of the options you have to conserve gasoline use in Empire Bay. Saving gas is saving lives. Remember... You can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Sharing car rides is an important step in the battle against Hitler and his army of evil. The next time you and another person might be headed in the same general direction, plan on sharing the ride together. You'll save the gas in your tank and the rubber on your tires. Resources that are so very vital to the war effort. So the next time you're getting in the car by yourself, just remember this line. When you ride alone... You ride with Hitler. You can make a difference. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Ladies, next time you go to the grocery store, take a second to think about what you're buying. Do you really need that much liver and onions for tomorrow night's dinner? Or how about that 12-pack of Swift Cola? Chances are you can drop the onions and cut that 12 into a 6-pack. Consider that many of our troops are fighting in brutal conditions, non-stop for days in a row, and that extra brisket you put in the ice chest just might be better off being eaten by a hungry GI than a plump 10-year-old. Remember, you can make a difference. World War II in Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Beef, pork, chicken. All meats that we commonly enjoy at dinner time. Unfortunately, our boys overseas aren't so lucky. They need all the meat we can spare. That's why you might consider substituting horse meat for chicken, pork, and even beef. You can enjoy savory dishes like a Welsh horse meat pie, horse filet mignon, or many other horse meat recipes available from your local butcher. So saddle up, ladies. Horse meat. It's not just for dog food anymore. Remember, 
You can make a difference. ECLA, Empire Bay's news home. I'm Gary Stevens. In what sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, a high-tech machine is coming to the U.S. Census Bureau. The first commercial computer has been made, and already it has found a home. The Census Bureau, which tracks statistical information on just about every facet of American life, will receive the high-tech counting machine in one year after it has been outfitted for secure and safe transport due to its extremely fragile nature. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. ECLA, Empire Bay's news home, I'm Gary Stevens. The television side of this radio station's parent company, Empire Bay Broadcasting Company, has brought the color television revolution to TV screens all across Empire Bay. Isn't that swell? TV viewers with black and white sets will not see any noticeable difference, nor will their pictures be impeded in any way. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. ECLA, Empire Bay's news home, I'm Gary Stevens. Parents, you might notice a little spastic gleam in your teenager's eye today. Is it from the extra lead in the water? No. More than likely, it's from the Liquid Tones. The Empire Bay musical act popular with teens has released a new record album today, and all of Empire Bay's Liquid Tones fans, or Tonesies as they call themselves, were out on a mission to get their hands on it. Yet another reason for parents to be aware of the evils of rock and roll. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. ECLA, Empire Bay's news home, I'm Gary Stevens. Wildfires devastate much of the westernmost states today. Residents were forced to flee from their homes earlier today as fires raged across much of the west coast. The fires started early yesterday and have quickly engulfed thousands of acres of land. Volunteers from across the country have joined the fight against the flames that investigators believe, at least for now, are the result of dry conditions and high winds. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. ECLA, Empire Bay's news home, I'm Gary Stevens. Not long after the world of television was painted with a splash of color, Empire Bay residents are finally able to get their hands on a color television set. Ed Worling's Electrical Appliances is the first retailer in town to have the new color televisions on sale, though sale may be too strong a word, as the new sets are reported to cost over $1,000. Top men in the field of electronics are saying that the pricey color television sets will soon give way to 3D television and then smell vision but you'll have to wait at least five years for those. Till then, it's rosier on radio. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. ECLA, Empire Bay's news home. I'm Gary Stevens. Today marks the official end to the war with Japan. Six years after the fighting stopped, the San Francisco Peace Treaty officially put an end to the war with Japan and ensured that the island nation would never again pose a threat to the security of other nations. The treaty also allocated money to victims of war crimes at the hands of Japanese military personnel. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. Empire Classic Radio. Classic music for a classic... Oh, uh, thank you. Oh. Oh, my. Some disturbing news to report, folks. Police have uncovered evidence of a mass gang slaying at the old Empire Forge in North Millville. No body count as of yet, but police believe that the altercation may have been gang-related. Another tragic example of the wickedness that is consuming our younger generation. Marijuana cigarettes, and no doubt, rock and roll records were also found at the scene. My deepest sympathies go out to the parents of these poor, misguided young men. For Empire Classic Radio, I'm Gary Stevens. We interrupt this segment of Empire Classic Radio to bring you an important news bulletin. A massive explosion has rocked the Empire Arms Hotel in Midtown. The fire and smoke can be seen for blocks around. Authorities are still not sure what or who caused the explosion, but are advising residents and people near the Empire Arms Hotel to stay clear until police and fire officials have deemed it safe to return. Again, a massive explosion has occurred at the Empire Arms Hotel in Midtown. While full investigation cannot yet be completed, the hotel manager, one Anthony Earhart, told our reporter moments ago that he suspected that a gas leak caused the explosion. Empire Classic Radio returns you now to regular programming 
I'm Gary Stevens. I'm Gary Stevens on ECLA Empire Classic Radio as we play another classic tune that was original... I'm sorry, but I've just been handed some breaking news. Hot on the heels of the recent explosion at the Empire Arms Hotel in Midtown, now we are hearing that several vehicles have been seen racing away from the building with passengers firing automatic weapons at one another across busy city streets. Civilian casualties are reported and police have so far been unable to halt the chaos. For ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. ECLA, Empire Classic Radio, bringing you breaking news in Greenfield, where the home of one resident is on fire after a shocking arson attack. The bodies of several young men were found at the scene. Residents in the Greenfield area are asked to provide the police with any information they may have. Yet another senseless crime which only serves to erode the moral bedrock of our fine city. For Empire Classic Radio, I'm Gary Stevens, and this is ECLA. Only the classics play on ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. The music... Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting word that a shootout has transpired at the Hill of Terra pub in Kingston. Police are on the scene, but local residents and eyewitnesses are apparently remaining tight-lipped over the events that unfolded at the local Irish pub. Hmm. The phrase, as thick as thieves, is brought to mind. We'll keep you informed as more information becomes available. For ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. Sunshine and ravioli. Gary Stevens with you on ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. We have some tragic breaking news to bring you, as it appears that several Empire Bay police officers have fallen in Oyster Bay. The tragic shooting has reportedly occurred at the Sea Gift Fish Packing Warehouse. One can only imagine the depravity of the monsters responsible for such a heinous crime. Our thoughts are with the families of those officers at this time. For ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. ECLA, Empire Classic Radio News. I'm Gary Stevens. What looked to be a tragic tale of the murder of several police officers turns out not to be the case. Initial reports from the scene at the Sea Gift Fish Packing Warehouse in Oyster Bay stated that several police officers had been killed. But in fact, the lives that were taken were those of several hardened criminals who were only dressed like police officers. We here at ECLA are immediately relieved that none of our city's finest lost their lives and that Empire Bay citizens can walk a little bit safer as for once, some ne'er-do-wells receive their comeuppance. This is ECLA News. I'm Gary Stevens. Empire Classic Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for this interruption. We bring you news of a shooting at a restaurant in Chinatown. Unidentified gunmen burst into the Red Dragon restaurant earlier today, opening fire on staff members. Numerous casualties have been reported. This is the second violent disturbance in Chinatown in recent days, with the shooting at the Sea Gift Fish Packing Warehouse still fresh in the public's mind. More on this story when information breaks. For ECLA, Empire Classic Radio, I'm Gary Stevens. Murder, police chase. Unfortunately, those words, once merely the subject matter of comic books and Saturday matinees, are appearing all too often as daily headlines in our newspapers. I'm Gary Stevens with breaking news on ECLA. Violence once again reared its ugly head today at a construction site in Midtown. Armed thugs were involved in a deadly shootout at the incomplete structure before police arrived on the scene. Police warned that armed criminals may still be at large in areas of Midtown and Oyster Bay and advise all citizens to remain vigilant until the situation is resolved. For ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. ECLA, Empire Classic Radio News, I'm Gary Stevens. More tragic news as we report a grisly murder in Lincoln Park. The remains of Mr. Henry Tomasino, reportedly a struggling entrepreneur who made his way here from Sicily as a young boy, were found in the park yesterday in what police spokesmen are describing as the most brutal and gruesome crime to have occurred in the city in decades. The bodies of several young Chinamen, whom police have yet to identify, were also discovered nearby. And so, with this tragedy, we reach a new low in this city's proud history. Empire Bay, you are in my prayers. For ECLA, Empire Classic Radio, I'm Gary Stevens. That's some of the best music ever made on ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. Uh, I apologize for the dead air, ladies and gents, but we have an update to the shootout that occurred at the Red Dragon restaurant. Police have apparently discovered a major narcotics operation located in the bowels of the restaurant. 
All employees who escaped the violence have either been held for questioning or are in custody at this time. Yet another example of the scourge that is doing its damnedest to break down the walls of decency. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry for the blue language, but coarse actions demand a coarse response. For ECLA, Empire Classic Radio, I'm Gary Stevens. We interrupt the music for some important breaking news. Gang violence has erupted at an uptown parking garage. Police have sealed off the structure for the time being, and an investigation is underway. Sources are saying that the shootout appears to have involved several Orientals. Could this event be linked to the recent violence in Chinatown? If the good Lord is listening, would someone please rise to the aid of our citizens and banish this scum to the prisons where they so deservedly belong? More on this story as we receive the information. For ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. Now back to the music. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gary Stevens for ECLA Empire Classic Radio. Social unrest has emerged from the darkest depths and taken the lives of several of Empire Bay's hardworking men. The Southport docks were overtaken by a violent mob as shots rang out, and several young men lost their lives. Longshoremen's union boss Derek Papalardo, long known for his unsavory labor practices, was among those killed. We'll have more on this story, perhaps at a later time. For ECLA, Empire Classic Radio, I'm Gary Stevens. Times I miss you. ECLA, Empire Classic Radio, interrupts this broadcast for some breaking news. More violence in our once fair city of Empire Bay, as reputed mob boss Carlo Falcone has been found murdered at the planetarium in Hillwood. The bodies of Mr. Falcone and several of his known associates were found riddled with bullets in what authorities say was a shootout of truly epic proportions. An investigation is underway, but if rumors are to be believed, the list of possible suspects could be as long as the road to hell on which we find ourselves marching. Ladies and gentlemen, for ECLA, Empire Classic Radio, this has been Gary Stevens. ECLA, Empire Classic Radio brings you the big band sound every day at 10 a.m. with Don Gleason on ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. Empire Classic Radio brings you every Thursday night, newsman Jim Britman's town hall meeting. Empire Bay's premier news radio program on ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. ECLA Empire Classic Radio takes you to the theater every Friday night for the Empire Bay Players' presentation of classical theater productions. This week, Les Miserables on ECLA. Join Empire Classic Radio this and every Sunday afternoon for Fight Song Memories. All your favorite wartime music only on Empire Classic Radio, ECLA. Empire Classic Radio brings you a night of formidable classical music with strings up front. Two hours of classical music from the likes of Beethoven, Strauss, and more. Strings up front, this Monday at 4 on ECLA. This is ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. This segment brought to you by Holton's Department Store. Everyone knows that Holton's has great prices and the best selection of clothing around. And yes, good people, that's why Holton's is year-round fashion for the American family. Now more from the best selection of music. Only on ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. <laughs> that piece always reminds me of growing up in Southport as a kid. Hello, I'm Gary Stevens on ECLA. The fine folks at Sanford's department store want to remind you to stop by and see their new line of imported Italian silk clothing. Just in from Milan and ready for the shopper with discerning taste. Sanford's Department Store, proud sponsor of ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. This portion of the ECLA Broadcast Day is brought to you by Montesino Coffee. Hi, I'm Gary Stevens, enjoying a cup of their incredibly rich and bold coffee right now. It's a tasteful accompaniment to the tasteful music we play here at this radio station. Get your percolator brewing some Montesino coffee today while I get set to play you more music on ECLA. ECLA, Empire Classic Radio. I'm Gary Stevens, your host here at ECLA. And don't forget that when we're not delivering your news, the Empire Times is every morning and throughout the day. For the latest news and up-to-the-hour information, pick up a copy of the Empire Times, a proud sponsor of this hour of radio on Empire Classic Radio. <laughs> if that doesn't take you back, then nothing will. ECLA, Empire Classic Radio's Gary Stevens here with something from those three singing sisters in just a second. But you know those sisters are no strangers to the Vangels Clothing and Tailoring Stores. 
They've had their experience perusing through Vangel's wide selection of clothing at fair prices. Vangel's Clothing and Tailoring, style that won't break the bank. ACLA Empire Bay's News Home, I'm Bob Berriman. You might want to think twice about lighting up that smoke, according to a new scientific study released today. In the report, which is available by order from the Food and Drug Administration, scientists conclude that smoking cigarettes could have health-related problems associated with lung health, upper respiratory performance, and even blood vessel strength. Aside from these findings, the scientists did not conclude if the problems were long-term or not. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berriman. Berryman. Fresh on the heels of a study that said smoking could have health-related drawbacks, the cigarette companies are now extolling the virtues of smoking on a regular basis. Jerry Pendergrass, spokesman for the Big Break Tobacco Company, released a statement that said, quote, The findings in the study are superficial at best. Big Break Tobacco always puts its consumers first, with rigorous testing and health screenings of our products. We even found that regular smoking helps in weight loss through appetite suppression and also helps controlling skittish nerves, end quote. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. ECLA, Empire Bay's news home, I'm Bob Berryman. Technology gets even more exciting than the two-slot toaster with word today of a brand new invention called the videotape recorder machine. Despite the fancy name, no one seems to understand what videotape is and how it is to be recorded. All that is known as images are captured in a moving sequence, much like motion picture film, but using magnetic tape instead. Some experts believe that videotape will have no significant use in the years to come, making the recorder machine essentially useless right out of the gate. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. ECLA, Empire Bay's news home, I'm Bob Berryman. Imagine being able to cook your steak from the seat of your couch. That's where Home Electronics Incorporated sees the future of home in as little as five years. They've already gotten you closer by taking you farther away from your television set with the invention of the remote channel changer. The device, which weighs a feathery five pounds, allows you to sit as far away as five feet from your television set and change the channels without getting up. Home Electronics says that soon you'll also be able to control the volume too. In the meantime, they're working on a version that isn't tethered by a wire. Watching the Stan Penny Hour never felt so liberating. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. ECLA, Empire Bay's news home, I'm Bob Berryman. Free money for Empire Bay residents. That's what Empire Savings and Loan is touting with the release of its Plastic Credit Associated Cards, or Credit Card for short. The cards allow Empire Bay consumers to purchase a variety of goods and services without any money, as long as they don't exceed a predetermined spending limit which is based on credit history. Although there are concerns about consumers exceeding their limits, Empire Savings and Loan officials say the cards are a great way for people to get what they want when they want it, with hardly any repercussions down the road. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. ECLA, Empire Bay's news leader, I'm Bob Berryman. If Granny calls and you missed her call, you still might be able to get that rhubarb pie recipe with the help of a new invention called the telephone answering machine. The device that's a mere three feet by three feet in size will allow users to get messages that friends and family leave for them once they call your home. Provided you aren't there and able to pick up the handset, of course. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. ECLA, Empire Bay's news leader, I'm Bob Berryman. A recent poll has the latest tally of the upcoming presidential election. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, along with his young protege, Richard M. Nixon, is leading Adlai Stevenson by almost twice as much. Poll experts believe the lead can be attributed to some voters' thoughts that Stevenson is a bit too aristocratic for their tastes. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. ECLA, Empire Bay's news leader, I'm Bob Berryman. In what can only be described as hits close to home for this father of two teenagers, young people are frequently becoming more rebellious. Parents' groups and parents in general are more and more finding that their teenagers are acting out and talking back. Such radical behaviors due to what experts believe is an increased exposure to rock and the subsequent roll, or rock and roll for short. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. ECLA, Empire Bay's news leader, I'm Bob Berryman. Scientists have harnessed what was once believed to be only for devastation, destruction, and mass chaos to turn your television set on. The atom bomb, the death knoll for many in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, has the science to now provide electricity. American scientists stumble upon the finding when they got tired of paying their electric bill. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. ECLA, Empire Bay's news leader, I'm Bob Berryman.
many restaurants will allow you to eat their food at some place other than their dining areas. Some even allow you to take the food home to eat in privacy. These meals, called take-home meals, allow you to drive up to a window outfitted with a microphone, place your order to someone inside the building, and then pull up to another window to pick up your food. A completely American idea in every sense of the word. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. ECLA, Empire Bay's news leader, I'm Bob Berryman. Inventors have allowed doctors, lawyers, and the like to take and place calls from their car. The invention called the Calling Answering Receiving Telephone, or CAR phone for short, is a tiny box that only weighs 80 pounds and costs about $150 a month. A device that the well-off can enjoy now, but that the rest of us will have to wait for. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. Empire Classic Radio. Yesterday's hits just like you remember them. ECLA. Empire Classic Radio Late Night. Classics from dusk till dawn. ECLA. Empire Classic Radio. ECLA. Hits to hear from yesteryear. I was anxious to tell them. This is EDLT. I hate to do that, kids, but when the news breaks, we gotta break in. It's your old pal Sammy with a bad scene at the old foundry in North Millville. And by bad, I do not mean good. It looks like somebody went and shot up a bunch of greasers. Killed them boys dead. If you have any information, the police would like to hear your sweet, sweet voice on the other end of the telephone. For Delta Radio News. This is Slammin' Sammy Stevens. It's Delta Radio. I'm Slammin' Sammy Stevens with more of that big bad R&B thing coming your way. But hey now, little kitties. I got some breaking news for you from downtown. A Nagasaki-sized explosion has doggone near blown the roof off the Empire Arms Hotel. <laughs> no clear cause for the explosion just yet. But you sure as heck want to stay clear of Midtown till this whole mess is cleaned up. For EDLT Delta Radio, this is your man, Sammy. Hey now, baby dolls and daddy-os, we got another breaking news story to throw your way. Now we're getting reports of a shootout near the Empire Arms Hotel. Nothing in the report about who's involved, but if I were you, I'd stay out of the area. Sounds to me like there's something serious going on down there right now. With that breaking news, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens on Delta Radio. E-D-L-T. E-D-L-T. Empire Bay's home for that R&B sound where the hits keep on coming. Whoa. Sorry, cats and kittens, but I got a news brief I need to share with you. Looks like a possible arson attack, this time at a house in Greenfield. Oh, the place has just gone up like a torch. One eyewitness said he saw several individuals firing weapons outside the property shortly after the blaze began. More on this story as we get it. Now we take you back to a big old block that can't be stopped. It's Slammin' Sammy Stevens slamming the hits on the Slammin' Sammy Stevens Show <laughs> on EDLT. Say that five times as fast as you can. EDLT, it's the Slammin' Sammy Stevens Show with more of the solid tunes that'll blow the pleats right out of those chinos. But that'll have to wait, friends, because the Hill of Tara Pub in Kingston, it's a happening place, but not with the kind of happenings you want to have happening right now. The police have reported that a gunfight has turned the famous Irish pub into a war zone. Looks like some crazy cat walked in there and got into some shenanigans, shall we say, with some of the local Irish get uh, clientele. No suspects yet, but the fuzz are on the lookout. Now you look out for some more music on EDLT, because it's coming right up after this on Delta Radio. Breaking into the tunes for some horrific news on EDLT. By golly, your old pal Sammy gives the coppers a little grief now and then, but never, ever would I wish anything so tragic on our boys in blue. I just got word of a shootout that has senselessly taken the lives of multiple police officers, happened at the Sea Gift Fish Packing Warehouse in Oyster Bay. Reports say the cops were involved in a shootout with unknown suspects, and the cops got the worst of it, leaving several fallen officers and no leads. I'm slamming Sammy Stevens, and this is Delta Radio. E-D-L-T. E-D-L-T. Empire Bay's Delta Radio. I'm slamming Sammy Stevens, bringing the news. A pleasant update to that real sad story we brought you yesterday. The cops that were killed in Oyster Bay, well, they weren't even cops at all. In actuality, they were criminals impersonating cops. Oyster Bay is smelling a lot fishier nowadays. The murderers still have not been identified. 
but I'll bet the cops are breathing a sigh of relief about this one. For Delta Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens. Delta Radio has to break into the rockin' tunes for a breaking news item. The Red Dragon Restaurant in Chinatown is normally where you find the very best egg rolls in the city. But right now, you'll find nothing but cops. Police have shut down the entire vicinity of the Red Dragon because of what witnesses are describing as gunshots and screaming from within. We've got no more details right now, but stay tuned for more on this story as information trickles in to the Slammin' Sammy Stevens Show. This is Delta Radio, breaking news on EDLT Delta Radio. It's your old disc jockey slash news commentator Slammin' Sammy Stevens bringing you news from Midtown. Construction site carnage. Well, that's what the papers might call it tomorrow. Witnesses have reported the sound of automatic weapons coming from the building and at least one body falling from a high-rise scaffold to the sidewalk below. Police arrived as a car was leaving the site, and they are still in pursuit of that vehicle. It's safe to say that if you see some flashing lights coming from behind you, pull over and duck, baby. For EDLT Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens. EDLT Empire Bay's Delta Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens bringing the news. Lincoln Park has become the site of a truly horrific scene. A businessman from Little Italy was assaulted in broad daylight by a group of Chinamen armed with knives and cleavers. Police have identified the victim as Henry Tomasino, who was reportedly in the meatpacking business. Mr. Tomasino died from his wounds sustained during the attack. Shots were fired in the area, and several of Tomasino's suspected assailants were found dead at the scene. Police have yet to identify these other victims, other than to state they all appear to be illegal Chinese immigrants. For Delta Radio, EDLT, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens. EDLT, Empire Bay's Delta Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens. And we have an update to yesterday's brutal shooting at the Red Dragon restaurant in Chinatown. The owner was found dead in his office, the victim of a gunshot wound to the head. Also uncovered when police finally got into the restaurant was an opium den hidden underneath the joint. No doubt the reason for the disturbance. Oh, I knew there was a reason I felt addicted to those egg rolls. For Delta Radio, EDLT, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens. Ooh, I hate to do that to you, my babies, but we got some important news for you. EDLT is getting reports of a shootout in the Uptown parking garage. Police have closed off the garage and are advising citizens to stay clear of the area. This is slamming Sammy Stevens on EDLT. Delta Radio, just in time for the end of that soulful tune, EDLT is breaking the news first. Blood has been shed on the docks. A union boss is dead along with several other men after a disagreement turned violent. Witnesses are being questioned by police, but so far, no one seems to have seen a thing. Man, that sounds like an ugly, ugly scene. Slamming Sammy Stevens needs to roll on, though. So here's another song to make a good woman blush on Delta Radio, E-D-L-T. We interrupt this song to bring you more shocking news of murder and mayhem in Empire Bay. For E-D-L-T Delta Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens. You know, folks, the Hillwood Planetarium is normally where you go to catch a glimpse of the heavens. But let me tell you, ain't nothing heavenly going on there right now. Carlo Falcone. Long suspected of heading up one of the city's largest and most powerful criminal organizations, has been gunned down at the planetarium, along with several of his personal bodyguards. Early reports don't give us much to go on, but I can only guess that this latest shooting is somehow linked to the major increase in gang violence across the city. For EDLT Delta Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens. EDLT Delta Radio, making your feet move and your soul shine. Delta Radio, E-D-L-T, Empire Bay. Delta Radio, Empire Bay never sounded so good, and neither did this next tune. Delta Radio, E-D-L-T, Empire Bay. Delta Radio, keeping you up through the night. E-D-L-T, Delta Radio. E-D-L-T, Delta Radio. Don't touch that dial. Time once again for the Empire Central Radio News Break. This is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey, kids, the traitorous Julius and Ethel Rosenberg were finally executed late last week. The first ever execution of civilians for the crime of espionage 
came after the married couple were found guilty of passing American nuclear secrets to the Soviets. Of course, they were sentenced to die in the electric chair. Bet they got a charge out of that verdict. <laughs> for Empire Central Radio News, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. Time once again for the Empire Central Radio News break. This is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Well, the rock and roll craze just keeps getting bigger and bigger, just as your old pal Rockin' Ricky Fox predicted. And if you need proof, kids, you need to look no further than the scene at the Dunderry Theater today as kids were pressed skirt to shirt and filled the famed Midtown Landmark for one rock and rock and roll show. How big was it? Well, Rockin' Ricky Fox is about to tell you. This show was the biggest this DJ has ever seen. And I seen a lot, believe me you. So, here's to even bigger shows to come. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Rock and roll! It's the Empire Central Radio news break, and this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Well, the Korean War has claimed yet another casualty as General Douglas MacArthur has been removed from his post over a public disagreement with President Truman on just how to win the war. No word on just how far apart their differences were, but apparently, kids, it was enough to earn the general his walking papers. Or I guess I should say his marching papers, because <laughs> he's a general <laughs> in the army. For Empire Central Radio News, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. This is the Empire Central Radio News Break. I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. Well, kids, the world needs to get ready for yet another fancy scientific term. Just when we were starting to get used to things like microwave ovens and automatic transmission, the eggheads have come up with an intelligent counting device that they're calling a computer. <laughs> now, this delicate device is said to be able to count much faster than a man and is about the size of a small house. You know, it's funny. I have an aunt in Phoenix who can count like that, but she's much bigger than a house. <laughs> Lay off the baloney, Aunt Fanny. <laughs> now, there's only one of these computers in existence right now, but the next one is scheduled to arrive at the United States Census Bureau sometime next year. Now, at some point, its inventors say they hope to be able to make the device small enough to fit in your garage. <laughs> well, what are you going to do with your car? <laughs> for Empire Central Radio News, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Time once again for the Empire Central Radio News break. This is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Well, in sports today, the Empire Bay Cannons got their season off to a blistering start as they defeated the Brooklyn Bulls earlier on by a score of 10-3. to the Cannons finished off the Bulls with four homers in the ninth to start off what's looking to be, at least after the first game, a darn good season, I'll say. <laughs> Go Cannons! For Empire Central Radio, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox with your sports. Now, let's get ready for some hits of our own team, the musical kind. Hey, Empire Central Radio, ECNR. This is Rockin' Ricky Fox making your airwave shake and the record needle quake with that big rock and roll sound. Hey, kids, coming up a three-song sweep as we get into a... What? Hey. Uh, hey, hang on there, gang. Give me, give old Rockin' Ricky a second there. We... Oh, okay. We we just got some uh, breaking news, kids, and uh, unfortunately, it's, it's the bad kind. Um... In North Millville, at the Old Empire Forge, a large group of young men have been found dead. Uh, police arrived on the scene to find that the men, who appeared to be part of a greaser gang, had been shot to death for reasons that are, unfortunately, currently unknown. Just a tragic, tragic scene at the Old Foundry at North Millville, kids. Uh, listen, we here at Empire Central Radio offer our sincere condolences to the families of those young men. Uh, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox here on ECNR. Hey. Let's get back to the music, because frankly, I think we could all use it. Time for the Empire Central Radio News Break. This is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Well, ECNR's parent company, Empire Bay Broadcasting Company, has unveiled something brighter on its television stations. In what some experts are calling an amazing development that might or might not catch on, the EBC television station has begun broadcasting in... In what? Color! <laughs> now, color broadcasting is expected to continue indefinitely, or at least until the EBC figures out that radio is where the public turns to for their entertainment. <laughs> at least I hope so. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox! And hands off those TVs! Time for the Empire Central Radio news break! This is Rockin' Ricky Fox! Well, you've heard them for a while on this station and blasting out of your favorite jukebox, and now 
you can hear something brand new from Empire Bay's own The Liquitones. That's right, kids. They've released a new record. So I guess you could say The Liquitones are in the groove. <laughs> Little musical humor there. Now, the popular band caused a mini riot at Rick's Records locations across Empire Bay when their last new album was released. And this time, it's expected to be no different. First, Empire Bay. Next, the world. For Empire Central Radio, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox, and I'm thirsty for some Liquitones. This is the Empire Central Radio News Break. I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. Now, listen up, kids. This is an important one. Empire Bay residents are encouraged to get in touch with any relatives that might be living in the western portion of our country as wildfires are charring their way across many of the Pacific states. Residents of the West are said to be busily packing up their homes and fleeing for their lives. Now, it's reported that thousands of acres have already been lost despite firefighters' brave efforts to control the blaze. So let's hope for the best and keep it tuned here. For Empire Central Radio News, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. It's the Rockin' Ricky Fox Show on ECNR, Empire Central Radio. Hey, a lot of calls about that insane new sound called rock and roll. And there's more of it to come with... What? Oh, hey, hang on a second, guys and dolls. I've just been handed an important, urgent, breaking news story. Oh, oh, okay. Listen, listen, kids. Reports are flooding the Empire Central Radio newsroom of gunshots and explosions in Midtown. Now, there are plumes of smoke uh, that can be seen rising from the Empire Arms Hotel. Now, listen, kids, all listeners of ECNR, and that's you, are advised to leave the area immediately. We repeat, reports have come to the ECNR newsroom that gunfire and explosions have been reported at the Empire Arms Hotel. Please be safe out there, kids. All persons in the area of the Empire Arms Hotel are advised to leave the area immediately. For Pete's sake, kids, be careful. Uh, More information to come as ECNR, Empire Central Radio, gets it. Uh, This is Rockin' Ricky Fox on Empire Central Radio, ECNR. This is ECNR, Empire Central Radio, and this is uh, Rockin' Ricky Fox, kids. Listen, I apologize for interrupting that great song, but we have yet another breaking story to tell you all about. Uh, Soon after the massive explosion that rocked the Empire Arms earlier today, Chaos has spilled out into the streets around the hotel, with police seemingly unable to control the situation. Now, shots are reportedly being fired from several speeding vehicles. Eyewitness reports have not been able to identify the perpetrators, but stay tuned to find out uh, more as we do. Kids, you gotta be careful out there. Gunshots are erupting in the midst of a car chase near the Empire Arms Hotel. Keep it here for more coverage. This is Empire Central Radio. I'm Richard Fox. With your Empire Central Radio News Break, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey kids, if you thought the atomic bomb was big, that's nothing compared to a devastating new military development known as the hydrogen bomb. Yeah, scientists at Empire Bay University have confirmed that the hydrogen bomb, or the H-bomb as they prefer to call it, is about 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb. But thankfully, kids, It's believed that the United States is the only nation that will ever have the capacity to develop such a devastating weapon. Well, that certainly is reassuring. But just the same, I'm going to go home after this broadcast and reinforce my bomb shelter. (laughs) For Empire Central Radio News, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. I love you, darling. Hey, Empire Central Radio with Rockin' Ricky Fox. And I've got another breaking news story here, kids. Again, I am so sorry have to cut into the tunes, but we hate to do that unless it's something really urgent, and uh, this one is, boys and girls. Listen to this. A home in Greenfield is ablaze after a suspected arson attack. Now, onlookers reported a group of men with Irish accents in the area just before the blaze began. I I can't believe this. With, With one unlucky man seen fleeing the scene in his skivvies. Now, police have so far been unable to locate the unfortunate homeowner, uh, whose name is Mr. Vito Scaletta, and there are fears for his safety. So please, kids, stay in your homes, but contact the authorities if you have any information on Mr. Scaletta's whereabouts, or indeed, if you are listening yourself, Mr. Scaletta, Vito, please let the EBPD know that you're okay. Residents of the Greenfield neighborhood are advised to leave their homes immediately 
until the fire department can contain the house fire and declare the area safe once again. So, this is Rock and Ricky Fox, and there's more to come on ECNR, Empire Central Radio. Hey, why am I getting all these reports? I'm trying to entertain the kids. There's that hot sound from... What, are you kidding me? I... Hey, Empire Central Radio breaking news. Rock and Ricky Fox here with breaking reports of gunplay at the Hill of Tara pub over there in Kingston. Now, the notorious alleged hangout of local Irish gangsters has become the scene of gunshots and chaos. Now, if you're a regular at the Hill of Tara pub, <laughs> kids, I'd start scoping out a new watering hole. Yeah, <laughs> because this one has been shut down till police can figure out exactly what happened. Now, eyewitnesses so far have been tight-lipped about the incident, but as information comes in, kids, ECNR, Empire Central Radio, will be the first to report it. In the meantime, this is the Rockin' Ricky Fox Show. Now, let's get back to the rockin' his tunes ever to be put on vinyl. <laughs> I'll drink to that on ECNR. With your Empire Central Radio news break, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Well, Broadway comes to Empire Bay and the Dunderry Theater as shows sold out in record time for the opening day of Tears in Tangiers. The popular play is about a young woman who battles health problems and love problems and is proven to be a hit with both critics and theater goers alike. Hey, I'll take two tickets to Tears and Tangiers for next Tuesday. <laughs> for Empire Central Radio News, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Dream, dream, dream. Uh, are we, are we on? Uh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to interrupt uh, our musical selection on ECNR with some urgent breaking news. Uh, Rockin' Ricky Fox here. We're getting reports that several of Empire Bay's finest have tragically lost their lives in the line of duty. Now, the brave officers were gunned down while in the service to our fair city as they attempted to thwart what appears to have been a drug deal gone terribly wrong. Now, the shootout occurred at Oyster Bay's famed Sea Gift fish packing warehouse just a few moments ago. We're just getting these reports in now. Uh, the names of the victims will be released as, as soon as their next of kin have been notified. This is a, a, a sad day indeed, kids, for the EBPD and uh, all of Empire Bay. Uh, this is ECNR, Empire Central Radio. This feeling's killing me. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're sorry to have to cut into our regular rock and roll programming, but we bring you news of a massive shootout in progress at the Red Dragon restaurant in Chinatown. Now, police are on the scene, but shots continue to be fired from inside the Red Dragon restaurant. The streets in that corner of Chinatown are crowded with onlookers and patrons who fled the shootout. Now, police are still polling the crowd for information, kids, but witnesses appear either unwilling to cooperate or, in many cases, unable to speak fluent English. Uh, we'll have more on the story as we get it. Uh, Rockin' Ricky Fox here, getting back into some big-time rock and roll on ECNR, cause boy, do we need it. It's the Empire Central Radio News Break, and I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. Television. It just refuses to die, right, kids? Get this, color television sets can be purchased starting today. Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances is the first store in the Bay to stock the new color boxes, but if you want one, well, start saving your pennies now, kids. That's because the new color sets are selling for, hold on, over $1,000. Oh, heck in a handbasket, kids. You could buy a brand new car for less than that. Apparently, to ride the wave of the future, you'll have to do it without an arm and a leg. And what's worse, you'll still be in your old car. For Empire Central Radio News, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. With your Empire Central Radio News break, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. And kids, I've got some big news for you. The Second World War has ended. Again. Uh, but this time, kids, it's official as 48, count them, 48 countries have now signed a peace treaty with Japan that officially ends the war in the Pacific. Now, it took almost six years to get it done, but the agreement is binding and it puts a formal end to Japan's status as a world power. That means that we here in America can rock and roll on! For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. With your Empire Central Radio news break, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. In sports, the Empire Bay Cannon's six-game winning streak came to an end today as they got gored by the Berkeley Bulls in a 6-4 heartbreaking loss. 
The finishing touch came in the ninth inning when the Bulls' Johnny Hotbox Hopper crushed one into the upper deck. Now, with the loss, the Cannons fall to second place in the division behind the Lost Heaven Lancers, who are currently riding a three-game winning streak. So come on, Empire Bay. Let's get those cannons loaded up and firing again. For Empire Central Radio News, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. This is ECNR Empire Central Radio. I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox with a quick update on a story we brought to you earlier in the week. Well, kids, for once, the news is actually good, as it's now being reported that the Empire Bay Police Department incurred no casualties during that shootout at the Sea Gift Fish Packing Warehouse. I repeat, no police officers were harmed in the shootout, and that, that's good news. Now, it appears that the dead men were actually get this known felons who were only dressed as cops. Now, those responsible for the murders have still not been identified, but the police here in Empire Bay are breathing a sigh of relief as none of the victims turned out to be from the ranks of Empire's finest. <laughs> well, with ECNR, Empire Central Radio News, I'm rocking Ricky Fox. Here's one for the good guys. Mm, this feeling's killing me. Oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're sorry to have to cut into our regular rock and roll programming, but we bring you news of a massive shootout in progress at the Red Dragon restaurant in Chinatown. Now, police are on the scene, but shots continue to be fired from inside the Red Dragon restaurant. The streets in that corner of Chinatown are crowded with onlookers and patrons who fled the shootout. Now, police are still polling the crowd for information, kids, but witnesses appear either unwilling to cooperate or, in many cases, unable to speak fluent English. Uh, we'll have more on the story as we get it. Uh, Rockin' Ricky Fox here, getting back into some big-time rock and roll on ECNR, cause boy, do we need it. Sometimes we interrupt this rockin' ECNR tune to break some news for those of you with friends and family working down on the docks. What began as a peaceful labor strike has turned to violence, with reports of rioting and gunfire coming from the port. Now, kids, details are still a little sketchy, but one eyewitness has claimed that the violence was triggered by larger-than-life union boss Federico Papalardo's unfair labor practices. <laughs> well, it looks like that policy kind of backfired. <laughs> Literally. More news when we have it in the ECNR newsroom. Until then, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox on Empire Central Radio. It's the Rockin' Ricky Fox Show on ECNR Empire Central Radio. As we could... What? What's that, Beanie? Hey, sorry, kids. Uh, my producer, Beanie, has just handed me some hot news about a police chase in progress right through Midtown. Now, the chase is apparently related to a shootout at a construction site in Midtown, which is owned by Empire Bay property magnate Frank Vinci. With this breaking news update, I'm rockin' Ricky Fox on ECNR Empire Central Radio. Why do you keep doing this to me, Benny? It's the Rockin' Ricky Fox Show on ECNR. More tunes coming up to put the pow wow wow in your speaker, but first, the news. A grisly scene was uncovered today as police discovered the body of Mr. Henry Tomasino in Lincoln Park. Tomasino, a local businessman with interests in waste disposal and construction, was found nearly dismembered in what police are calling one of the most brutal and vicious murders they've seen in decades. Now, no suspects have been named, but police are interested in speaking with two dark-haired men of average height who were seen fleeing the scene. One of the men is described as being on the thin side, while the other is described as, and I quote, heavily built, with a loud voice and an even louder outfit. As ever, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any information, please call the Empire Bay PD. For ECNR Empire Central Radio, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. Let's get back to the wax. Hey, the rock and roll continues on ECNR Empire Central Radio. But first, kids, an update to the shootout at the Red Dragon Restaurant. Now, police have cordoned off the area after discovering an opium den and heroin production facility located, get this, directly underneath the famed Chinatown eatery. A shocking new twist in what was already one sensational news story. Now, police believe the event may be linked to yesterday's horrific murder of businessman Henry Tomasino in Lincoln Park by Chinese immigrants and are appealing to the public to aid them in their search for two men seen fleeing the scene. 
Well, looks like we got off the track a little, but the rock and roll train is going to roll on on ECNR Empire Central Radio. I'm rocking Ricky Fox. ECNR Empire Central Radio. Hey ho, my friends on the other end of the radio waves. It's the Rock and Ricky Fox Show. Hey, I'm sorry, kids, but the rock and roll's going to have to wait a bit as I got some more breaking news here. Police have closed off an elevated garage near Riverside after the bodies of several men were found within. Gunshots had been reported in the area prior to the grim discovery, so public access to the garage is restricted at this time, and anyone with a car in the garage will have to wait until the police have concluded their investigation. And also, you might want to double-check your insurance papers. (laughs) In the meantime, you're going to want to park your radio dial right here as the Rock and Ricky Fox Show rock and rolls on with great music here on Empire Central Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Rock and Ricky Fox. Hey, the Empire Central Radio Newsroom has just handed me this important breaking news bulletin. It's now being reported that wealthy restaurateur and importer Carlo Falcone has been found dead. I repeat, Carlo Falcone is dead. Mr. Falcone was found shot to death along with several of his associates at the Hillwood Planetarium, an institution of which he was a major benefactor. Now, Mr. Falcone has long been suspected of having links to organized crime, and I got to say, ladies and gentlemen, this tragic event smells an awful lot like a gang land slaying. For more on this story, keep that dial tuned to ECNR, Empire Central Radio, and the Rockin' Ricky Fox Show. Now, Let's get back to the music. With the Empire Central Radio News Break, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey, kids, in sports, the gridiron was where the action was today as the Empire Bay Kings opened their preseason against the Cape Peak Loggers. Now, the Kings majestically knocked them right in the jaw with a 21-14 win in front of a packed preseason crowd at the stadium. Empire Bay's football fans are geared up for the regular season action, kicking off on October 1st, At home, as they try and corral the San Dorado Stallions. Hoo-wee! Rodham Cowboy! For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Empire Central Radio, your home for rock and roll. Hold on tight, kids. This is ECNR. You're listening to ECNR, Empire Central Radio. Empire Bay's home for that hot new rock and roll sound. ECNR, ECNR, Empire Central Radio, shaking the dial with that crazy rock and roll style, Empire Central Radio. Hey, America's Game is on Empire Bay Central Radio. This Friday night, set your dial to catch all the hardball excitement as the Empire Bay Cannons host the Lost Heaven Lancers on ECNR, Empire Central Radio. This Saturday morning, don't miss the exciting adventures of Dash Along Gene and his posse of law-enforcing deputies. This Saturday, join Gene as he saves his gal Jody from the evil clutches of the Apache Chief. Woo-woo-woo-woo-woo! Dash Along Gene, this and every Saturday morning on Empire Central Radio. Hey, kids, don't forget your roundabout secret decoder ring to find out the secret message in this Sunday's exciting edition of the Roundabout Toys and Games Mystery Hour. Pick up your high-end plastic decoder at any Roundabout Toys store to play, exclusively on ECNR. Empire Central Radio. Hey, it's the Rock and Ricky Fox Show on ECNR, Empire Central Radio. Hey, kids, nothing smokes like the needle on these records, and for that matter, the big break cigarettes sitting there smoldering right now in Rock and Ricky Fox's rocket ashtray. So grab yourself a pack of Reds like your old buddy Rick, and get a richer flavor and smoother finish than those other brands. Big Break Reds and ECNR. A healthy match with more tunes like this one on Empire Central Radio. ECNR, Empire Central Radio, where there's more bang, zoom, pow for your radio dollar. And hopefully, kids, you're cranking us out right now on a new radio from Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances. You know, that's where your old pal Rockin' Ricky Fox got the radio that sits in his palatial living room right now. So do yourself a favor. Head on down to Ed Warling's, mention yours truly, Rockin' Ricky Fox, and get yourself a free ECNR Rockin' Ricky Fox pin 
just for stopping down. Wear it, share it, pin it on your best girl when you're about to step out. And speaking of stepping out, let's step up the tunes now on ECNR. Empire Central Radio. Hey, it's your old buddy Rockin' Ricky Fox here on ECNR, Empire Central Radio. Hey, we'll have more of the out-of-this-world tunes that have even the squares tapping their toes in just one second. Now, hopefully, you got your hands on the dial and you're cranking us out on a new Ergo Radio and it's state-of-the-art dual speaker sound. <laughs> so, pick up an Ergo Radio from Home Electrics. Believe me, folks, trust your old buddy Rick. You won't regret it. Hey, it's the Rock and Ricky Fox Show with more rock and roll coming up next on ECNR. Hey, this big block of rock and roll on Empire Central Radio is motoring along smoother than a straight eight engine and a brand new Smith Thunderbolt running on Trago motor oil. Hey, kids, don't let those rods and pistons down. Use Trago oil for your automobile because champion drivers choose Trago oil. And now, Put your musical stick shifts into drive, because we're about to have more of that slick rock and roll sound right now on ECNR, Empire Central Radio. Let's rock and roll. It's ECNR, Empire Central Radio, making the speakers shake and the radio waves howl as we get set to spin another big, long set of rock and roll. And it's all brought to you by the Empire Bay Diner. With many, many, many convenient locations, folks, the Empire Bay Diner has the best food to fill you up without thinning out your wallet, including cheeseburgers, malts, and Rockin' Ricky Fox's personal favorite, Empire Bay Fries. The Empire Bay Diner. It's Rockin' Ricky Fox's go-to place for breakfast, that's for sure. This is Empire Central Radio, my hungry friends. It's the Rockin' Ricky Fox Show on ECNR. The perfect soundtrack for cruising around in a brand new car from Diamond Motors. So, rev up your engines and rock and roll yourself down to their massive showroom in Little Italy and see why they're the first name in luxury. Diamond Motors. Nothing beats them, kids. Just like nothing beats this kickin' rock and roll tune on ECNR Empire Central Radio. Room, room. ECNR Empire Central Radio with your best buddy Rockin' Ricky Fox here in front of the microphone. You know, on those crazy newfangled television sets, the pictures just get clearer and clearer, especially with the television set sold at Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances. Why, old Ed's got a wider selection of Empire and Home Electrics brand color TVs than the Empire Central Radio has hip happen and hit records. So, do yourself a favor, grab a minute and head on down to Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances. The Rock and Ricky Fox Show rolls on with ECNR and today's big scorching rock and roll. Uh-oh, somebody called the fire department because that record is on fire. Hey, kids, it's the Rock and Ricky Fox Show here on ECNR. Hey, listen up, gang. I just got a phone call from a buddy who's heading to Miller's Point with his best gal tonight. <laughs> No doubt they'll be enjoying the stars and possibly a little something else in his Schubert Beverly. Hey, gang, top down or up, windows foggy or crystal clear, with the Schubert Beverly, you'll be made in the shade, guys. The Schubert Motor Company is a proud sponsor of the Rock and Ricky Fox Show, only on ECNR. Here's a kiss for the ladies. Mwah! Now, Rock and Ricky Fox plays a lot of music here at ECNR. But they really broke the mold with that big bad tune. Hey, this is the Rock and Ricky Fox Show just rolling through another rock and roll block of music. Music that, by the way, is brought to you by Smith Automotive. Why, they're the bees, knees, the cats, pajamas, and the tops and pops for hot cars like the Custom 200 and the Mighty Thunderbolt. Coming up, more of the phonograph needles spinning out and leaving rubber on the platters on Empire Central Radio. ECNR. This is the Rock and Ricky Fox Show on ECNR Empire Central Radio. Hey, excuse me for a second, would you, kids? <sighs> you hear that, gang? Why, that's the refreshing sound of Swift Cola, Empire Bay's number one choice for sweet liquid refreshment and the number one choice of your favorite local disc jockey, yours truly, Rock and Ricky Fox. 
So when you get parched and thirsty from singing along to all the latest greatest hits are on ECNR, make sure you grab an ice-cold Swift Cola. Just make sure not to spill it while you're shaking it to this tune on ECNR's Rockin' Ricky Fox Show. Mm-mm. ECNR, Empire Central Radio. Whether you're out cruising with your pals or swinging at the hop with your gals, this is your old pal Rockin' Ricky Fox. And speaking of hops, Master Beer is full-flavored beer that's just loaded with them. Now, old Rockin' Ricky Fox can't tell you exactly what hops are, but I can tell you how they make my beer taste, and that's the tops. <laughs> Love that Master Beer, let me tell you. So get your moms and pops to get you some hops. And while we're waiting, more rock and roll sound right after this on ECNR. It's Rock and Ricky Fox on Empire Central Radio. More of the big boppin' heart stoppin' tunes coming up on the Rock and Ricky Fox Show, all of which you can find at Rick's Records, Empire Bay's largest selection of 45, 78s, and the new long play records are at Rick's Records, which makes him my second favorite Rick. <laughs> This next one is actually at Rick's for 20% off for a limited time only, kids. So run out now and go pick it up and crank it up on ECNR. This is Empire Central Radio's Rockin' Ricky Fox with more of that rock and roll sound that makes the squares go round and the goofy grown-ups go gaga. And coming up next, I'll have more hot wax coming your way. Brought to you by the good folks at Stella's Diner. Featuring the best Greek cuisine this side of Athens. Hoppa! Stella's Diner of Empire Bay. It's the diner of choice for Rockin' Ricky Fox and Empire Central Radio. Man, oh man, I love that song. You know, folks, last week I was listening to that very same rock and tune in my automobile when I ran into some car trouble on the highway. Lucky for me, my swell pals at Charlie's Auto Service and Repair were able to tow me in and get it fixed in a jiffy. So, friends, next car trouble you have, take it to Charlie's in Southport. Hey, more hip-shaking, room-quaking rock and roll is up next on Empire Central Radio. Thanks, Charlie. ECNR, Empire Central Radio. Hey, kids, coming up, a big block of rock and roll that may or may not feature a traveling guitarist, a flame-throwing piano player, and a kid with one crazy hairdo. And it's all brought to you by the fine folks at Dipped in Apparel and their very affordable clothing so you can look slick and smooth when you're in the groove. Dipped in Apparel, clothing you can depend on. Hey, kids, you can also depend on more great music coming up on Empire Central Radio. Looking good. Hey, kids, it's time for your Empire Central Radio news break. I'm rocking Ricky Fox. Hey, kids, some crazy news from the lab coats about your smokes, my friends. A recent study in a scientific journal, sounds important, found that cigarette smoking may cause pulmonary disease and even <laughs> lung cancer. <laughs> Sorry. But hey, kids, until I find out how reliable that study is, this fine young man is still gonna breathe easy and enjoy his big break blues. For Empire Central Radio News, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey, time for your Empire Central Radio News break. I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey, good news for all us smokers. Despite the recent scientific study that found smoking could pose health risks, tobacco companies maintain that smoking just one pack of cigarettes per day can keep you young and thin. And get this, even promote healthy respiratory function. Oh boy, reassuring information at last from companies that I'm sure would never lead us astray just to make a buck. I mean, come on. For Empire Central Radio, I'm rocking Ricky Fox. It's time for the Empire Central Radio news break. I'm, guess who, rocking Ricky Fox. The video tape recorder. What is it, kids? A futuristic spaceship sent to take over the world? A hidden rogue unit from a defeated Nazi army? <laughs> no, no, not in the least. Get this. The video tape recorder is a new invention that allows its users to record moving images just like you see on TV. It records them right to a magnetic tape for viewing at a later time. Ooh, that's, that's some space-age stuff out there. <laughs> so researchers are excited about the possibilities, but many believe that the uses for this device 
are minimal at best. Well, I could have told that to you. <laughs> For Empire Central Radio News, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey, it's Empire Central Radio News break time. This is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Listen, kids, the Home Electrics Corporation has invented a device that allows you to change your television channel without getting off your seat. <laughs> I know, I know, it sounds insane, but it's apparently true, kids, because Rockin' Ricky Fox would never lie. Now, that also means no more getting up from the couch to change the program because, as the folks at Home Electrics are saying, you can now remotely switch between all three of your television's channels. <laughs> kind of gives new meaning to the term, don't touch that dial. <laughs> For Empire Central Radio News, I'm Rockin' Ricky Fox. Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey kids, some disturbing news out there for Empire Bay's loan sharks. It appears Empire Savings and Loan was swamped with residents who wanted their own credit card after hearing the bank had released their new alternative to paying with cash or check. The credit card, as they call it, will allow its user to purchase a variety of goods and services so long as their account is kept in good standing. I mean, how hard can that be, right? Now, the credit card is being touted as a great way to purchase something without having the money at the time to pay for it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Which experts are saying will become a carefree path to financial freedom. Well, <laughs> safe to say you can bet on that. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Oh, and in case you didn't catch that call I made to you about meeting up at the malt shop yesterday, don't sweat it, boys and girls, because now they've invented a new contraption that can get this, answer your phone, and record the caller's voice, and then allow you to listen to that recorded message when you get home. <laughs> is, is that too much or what? <laughs> the future is now, kids. And guess what? I guess this means I, I won't have an excuse for not calling Cindy back, who, as you know, is rockin' Ricky Fox's main squeeze. Love you, Cindy. <laughs> right back at you. For Empire Central Radio News, I'm rockin' Ricky Fox. For Empire Central Radio News, this is rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey, kids, if you follow politics, the gap between General Dwight D. Eisenhower and Adlai Stevenson continues to grow. At this point in time, General Eisenhower is almost assured of victory in the presidential election, leading Stevenson by, get this, an almost two-to-one margin in the latest polls. Can you believe it? Now, some political experts are saying Eisenhower's massive lead is due to his status as a war hero and also the trusting appearance of his running mate, Richard M. Nixon. Boy, do I love this guy. I mean, how can you not trust a fella with a middle name like Milhouse? He is destined for great things. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. And boy, do I got a bone in my teeth. I got a message here to all you square parents out there. Lay off the kids, will you moms and dads? Because apparently there are some parent groups out there who I guess just sit around their living rooms drinking their martinis to see how kooky they can be about teenagers who feel like their kids should be seen and not heard. Well, I, Rockin' Ricky Fox for one, would not have a job if that were the case. I make my living on it. So get on the stick, mommy-o and daddy-o. The kids are our future. And if these kids aren't heard, then the future will be pretty icky. Not to mention quiet. <laughs> hey, look, I'm sorry if I seem like I'm going a little ape here, but uh, I just hate to see my fans, the kids of America, taking one on the chin. Righteously speaking, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey, this is Empire Central Radio, and I'm, you guessed it, Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey, get this, kids. The Japanese felt the power of the atomic bomb not too long ago. And now, it looks like your kitchen light bulb will too, but in a much safer way. Uh, scientists have found a way to harness the energy produced by an atomic bomb and make electricity from it. Yeah, American scientists reportedly stumbled upon the finding when they got tired of paying their electric bill. <laughs> so bring a little Nagasaki right into your kitchen. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey kids, listen up, because now you can get your dinner on the double. Because some restaurants are now allowing you to order your food packaged so you can just take it home to enjoy. Some even have it so you can even pull up at your Ben 8 and bark your order into a microphone. <laughs> Maybe they should call it a doggy bag. Here's how it works. You pull up a few feet and your food is ready in just a few minutes. You don't even need to go inside the restaurant. Oh, <laughs> wow. Hey, before you know it, you won't even have to leave your house for a good meal. <laughs> They'll just bring it to you. <laughs> and for you roller skating waitresses out there, <laughs> you may need to look into a different line of work. <laughs> man, oh, man. 
crazy times we live in, huh, good people? For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. Hey, kids, save that dime next time you want to call your main squeeze, because pretty soon, you just may be able to do it on the go. That's right, weighing in at around 80 pounds, the prototyped auto phone device may one day enable you to make a telephone call from the comfort of your own four-wheeled vehicle. <laughs> now, I-, I certainly hope that this isn't true, kids, because uh, after all, fellas, our poor wives have enough difficulty driving as it is. <laughs> What's next? A washing machine in the car? <laughs> Boy, I-, I shudder to think of the destruction that would be caused if they are all driving around while talking on the telephone. <laughs> A word to the wise ladies, don't dial and drive. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. ECNR, keeping Empire Bay wide awake. Empire Central Radio. Hey, stay tuned to ECNR, Empire Central Radio. Hey, wait, Barb. Wait a minute. Boy, do I need a break. (sighs) Okay, Jerry. How about a big break cigarette while we rest? Oh, that sounds great. Mmm, now that's a break. Great. Now, race you to the soda shop. (laughs) Hey, wait for me. When you need to take a break from it all, reach for big break cigarettes. Hello, I'm TV and film star Denny Reed. You know, things can get pretty hectic on the set of a movie, and I'm sure things can get pretty hectic in your life, too. So I'll let you in on my number one secret for getting through a tough day, a pack of Big Break cigarettes. Whether it's the bold flavor of Big Break Reds, the smooth taste of Big Break Blues, or the light finish of a Big Break White, When you want to take a break from it all, reach for your big break cigarettes. Hey, Pop. Hey there, Sport. Want to grab the gloves and throw the ball around? You betcha, Pop. Say, what's that smell? That would be my big break red cigarettes. They sure do smell good, Pop. And they taste good, too. Full of rich and bold flavor and always there to give me a break when I need it. Now, let's go outside and work on your curveball. Neato! Big Break Red Cigarettes. Bold, satisfying flavor that never lets you down. Thanks for coming, Tom. Here, have a Big Break Blue. Sure. Thank you, sir. Well, after landing that big account, you've earned it. Boy, these are really smooth, sir. They sure are. Just like you, Tom. Tom saved the day because he stayed calm and smooth under pressure. Just like the taste of Big Break Blues. For the smoothest game in town, reach for a pack of Big Break Blues cigarettes. Well, hi there, Marge. Just returning the baking dish I borrowed. Oh, thanks, dear. Almost forgot about that. Say, what's that you're smoking? Those aren't your usual cigarettes, are they? Oh, no. I told Dick I was tired of my usual brand. I wanted something a little lighter, so he suggested I try some Big Break Whites instead. Wow, they smell great. Mmm. You betcha. Big Break Whites are lighter and milder, but with all the flavor of... Hey, where are you going? I'm going to get a pack of Big Break Whites. Big Break Whites. So light and mild. What a relief. Well, hello there. I'm here to tell you about the Empire Electronics 45 Series Television. The new 45 Series features a new picture system that's going to be the biggest thing since sliced bread. Of course, I'm talking about color television. Yes, folks, the technology of tomorrow is here today. The 45 Series TV brings you a full-color picture inside a handsome cherry wood box. It's the most picture you could ever ask for, and it'll be the last television set you'll ever need. So stop by your local appliance store today and fall in love with the new color picture and handsome design of the Empire Electronics 45 Series Television. Your eyes will thank you. Have you seen the new refrigerator Dick got me for my birthday, Alice? Wow! Is that the new Model 248? Sure is. Just listen to how quiet it is. 
Isn't that the quietest refrigerator you've ever heard? It sure is. I could barely hear it from the next room. And it looks like you could fit an entire turkey in there. And then some. The new Model 248 refrigerator from Empire Electronics, featuring Whisper Lux technology. Empire Electronics. First, they set the standard for home radios with the RCO5 radio, featuring the most precise tuning technology this side of the military. Then came the 45 series television, bringing the wonder of color to homes around the country. Now, Empire Electronics is proud to introduce the P52 portable telephone, the first ever portable telephone, featuring a cord so long it allows you to go just about anywhere. Empire Electronics, paving the way for the future with luxury and design for the modern home. Hi, I'm Kevin Stallworth, the CEO of the Home Electrics Corporation. Our competition seems to think that they have the best color television available for your living room. And I'm here to tell you, that just isn't true. Introducing the new TV Ergo Color Television Set. Not only does it have that vivid color picture that'll make you the envy of your neighbors, it's also the first television set that has wheels. That's right, folks. Wheels. If you don't want it in the corner of your living room, just roll it over next to the bookcase. It's that easy. TV Ergo is the most portable television set ever created, with colors so rich and real your eyes won't believe what they're seeing. The TV Ergo from Home Electrics. You're going to love it, I guarantee it. Experience your favorite radio programs in a whole new way. Be the first on your block to own the new Ergo radio from Home Electrics. So convenient and portable about the size of a lunch pail, the Ergo sacrifices nothing in quality, with sound that must be heard to be believed. The Ergo features the same cutting-edge technology used by our troops in Korea, with the addition of dual speaker sound and other deluxe features. Demand nothing but the best in your modern radio. Demand the Ergo radio from Home Electrics. For crystal clear frequencies high and low, depend on Ergo. Ladies, are you tired of your unreliable old refrigerator? Tired of the spoiled food and repair bills? Well, then it's time to outfit your kitchen with a new alligator refrigerator from Home Electrics, featuring a freezing compartment that's nearly twice the size of any other. The alligator refrigerator is also available with new optional color accents to match the rest of your modern kitchen. Yes, ladies, you've asked for it and we've delivered. And as with all other Home Electrics, appliances with our modern engineering and patented deluxe manufacturing process your new alligator refrigerator is guaranteed to last at least five years the new alligator refrigerator from home electrics now on sale at your local appliance store The pencil skirt, the poodle skirt, the full skirt. The latest fashions can be found at Holton's department stores. At Holton's, you'll find our helpful staff on hand to take care of all your clothing needs. Whether it's that poodle skirt that all the other girls are sporting at school, or for you guys, the coolest leather jacket. Of course, upturned collar is optional. All your fashion needs will be met at Holton's department stores. Year-round fashion for the American family. Conveniently located at the Westside Mall. Janet. Wow, that sure is a swell dress you have on. Wherever did you get it? Why, Holton's Department Stores, of course. I should have guessed. I was just headed there myself. I really need a new outfit for my big date with Johnny Saturday night. Oh, don't worry, Dorothy. Holton's has every style of clothing you could imagine and at a great price, too. Oh, that's all I need to hear. Holton's, here I come. Holton's Department Stores, year-round fashion for the American family. There's only one place to find the finest in fashionable threads. Sanford. Only one department store has the right selection for any event with style to spare. Sanford. All the top designer brands, Christian de Mior, Gaul de Bon, Sweet Lily, Burrington, and more. They're all here at Empire Bay's sharpest and cleanest department store. Sanford Department Stores. Sanford. For discerning tastes, only Sanford has it. Hurry up, Pop. The game's going to start soon. <laughs> Hold your horses, Slugger. Just let me change my jacket. Well, what's wrong with the one you have on? 
Why, nothing at all, Mikey. This is a Clyde and Theodore brand jacket. It's a stylish garment for those of us with more discerning tastes. I'd hate to risk spilling anything on it at the game. What's discerning mean? Well, it's a word that us grown-ups use when we want to describe something that's high in quality, like Sanford department stores. Can we go to Sanford after the game, Pop? Sanford department stores. For discerning tastes, only Sanford has it. Well, hi there. I'm Roddy, the first piston in your car's engine. Hey, you know what really keeps me cranking is some good old Trago gas. It's the best and only gasoline for today's modern high-performance cars. So the next time you visit your service station, tell them to... Top it off with Trago. Trago gasoline. For maximum performance, Trago lets you go, go, go! Another thrilling victory for Ace Kruger, the fastest driver in Empire Bay. Let's see what he has to say. So tell us, Ace, what's your secret? Just what do you put into that car of yours? Well, I couldn't have done it without my Trago motor oil. It's the only oil that me and my crew use come race day. We know it'll keep the engine humming right along to the finish line. Well, there you have it, folks. The secret to Ace Kruger's racing success lies in a bottle of Trago motor oil. I guess that's why champion race car drivers choose Trago oil. Conveniently located at all Trago service stations, Mr. Shiny Car Wash will give your car back its showroom shine. Let our experts pamper every inch of your automobile as they wash, wax, and buff till it shines like new. So stop by Mr. Shiny Car Wash, conveniently located at all Trago service station locations. And now another gun safety tip from Joe McCluskey, owner of McCluskey and Son Guns and Ammunition. When you are faced with the unfortunate situation of an intruder in your home, your best chance for protecting your loved ones is by having a handgun. You can find this and many more safety tips at McCluskey and Son Guns and Ammunition, in addition to our wide variety of guns like the Cole 1911 and the brand new Seth and Winston 357 Magnum, McCluskey and Son Guns and Ammunition for sportsmen and home safety. McCluskey and Son are here for you. And now another gun safety tip from Joe McCluskey, owner of McCluskey and Son Guns and Ammunition. Hunting accidents occur far too frequently. Make sure that when you're walking out to your hunting blind or tree stand that your chamber is broke in the open position properly cradled in your arm with the barrel aimed at the ground. For more of these tips, come out to McCluskey and Son Guns and Ammunition. This week only, save 10% on a Fleming 870 shotgun, perfect for duck hunting, and 40% on the classic M1 Garand. McCluskey and Son Guns and Ammunition. With eight locations around Empire Bay, we are your place for sportsmen and home safety. Well, hey there. What can I get you kids tonight? I just don't know. This menu is downright huge. It's the Empire Bay Diner, hon. You name it, we got it. How about burgers, fries, sodas, and malts? Got it, got it, and got it. Oh, wow. That sounds like the tops. But I'm sure it'll cost a few saw bucks, won't it? Sweetie, you'll still have money for pie. Looks like I better leave room for dessert. <laughs> the Empire Bay Diner. With five locations to serve you, you're in for great taste at a great price. Empire Bay Diner. All right, boys. The scarf drops in three, two, one. Artie, don't just sit there. Go already. Cool your jets, Connie. I'm hungry. I want to hit Empire Bay Diner first. What? You'll never win the race if you do that. I sure will. With five Empire Bay locations, they've got the city covered. In fact, there's one just around the corner. Come on, hop in. That sounds swell, Artie. Hold on tight. Empire Bay Diner. Best burgers in town. Open all night.
Attention, Empire Bay. Diamond Motors is your luxury automobile authority. With the widest selection of the newest models, Diamond Motors has every type of car you could imagine. From the sleek fins and ultra-cool lines of the all-new Schubert Beverly to the unmistakable look of the Smith Thunderbolt, Diamond Motors can get you into the car of your dreams. Stop by Diamond Motors in Little Italy today for a spin. And remember, for the finest in luxury, nothing beats Diamond. Greetings, Earthling. You will take me to your leading retailer of fine automobiles, or your puny planet will be vaporized? Well, that would be Diamond Motors in Little Italy. Excellent. Can they also negotiate the surrender of your planet? Well, I don't know about that, but they'll get you a great deal on great cars like the Smith Custom 200 Ooh. and the Smith Thunderbolt. Ooh. They've got brand new Potomacs, Ooh. Quicksilvers, and more, too. Thank you, Earthling. I will wait to vaporize your puny planet until I meet with this Diamond Motors. Diamond Motors, located in Little Italy. For the best in luxury, nothing beats Diamond. Is your old television set just not cutting it anymore? Mom, the TV's on the fritz again. Then you need to race on down to Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances and see their huge selection of new television sets. From the trusted black and white models to the brand new color sets, Ed Warling's got it in stock. Mom, Ed Warling's got color TV sets. Really? Well, we'll have to head right over there as soon as your father gets home. Ed Warling's electrical appliances, from radios to television sets to the all-new color television sets. Ed Warling's has what you need. The future of television viewing has arrived. Hello, I'm Ed Warling from Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances, and I want you to know that Empire Electronics and Home Electrics are currently making color television sets that will carry us into the future. And right now is a great time to get your new future-proof TV from Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances. With the biggest selection of televisions in Empire Bay, we guarantee that you'll find the perfect TV, or my name isn't Ed Warling. Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances. From radios to television sets to the all-new color television set, Ed Warling's has what you need. And now a moment with motion picture star Joan Berner. What's that you're reading there, Miss Berner? Oh, hello. I was just reading the manual for the new TV that I got at Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances. I got a divine new Empire Electronics brand TV there, and I couldn't be happier. It's no surprise, though, because Ed Warling's has nothing but the best quality electrical appliances around. They have the largest selection by far, at the lowest prices anywhere. Ed Warling's Electrical Appliances. From radios to television sets to the all-new color television sets, Ed Warling's has what you need. At Schubert Motor Company, we've been building the American dream since 1907, and nothing epitomizes that dream like the Schubert Beverly. From its eight cylinders of pure muscle to the flowing lines of its new lightweight steel body panels, the Schubert Beverly is an automobile you'll be proud to have in your garage. Yes, the Schubert Beverly. Style, performance, and quality. It's the American way, and it goes into every Schubert automobile. America's most trusted automaker since 1907. Ooh, that style! Wow, that zing! It's a Beverly thing! The all-new Schubert Beverly from Schubert Motor Company. Now with more style, like twice the amount of optional chrome trim for that sleek look, an interior decked out in the finest wood accents, and now featuring a brand new push-button amplitude modulation radio, plus a lot more. Visit your Schubert Motor Company dealer today for a first-class introduction to the first-class Schubert Beverly. Ooh, that style! Wow, that zing! It's a Beverly thing! Hi, Mr. Anderson. Oh, hi there, Sally. Robbie's inside. Wow, is that the new Schubert frigate? It sure is, Sally. The best convertible around. And it gets almost 15 miles to the gallon, which means a lot with today's gas prices. You betcha. Say, how do you know so much about the Schubert frigate anyway, Sally? I'm trying to get my daddy to buy one, too. <laughs> Schubert Motor Company, America's most trusted automaker since 1907. Experience the unforgettable sensation of the wind in your hair. To some, it's not just wind, it's also freedom. And anytime you're in a Schubert frigate, that feeling of freedom is always there. Putting the top down in a new Schubert frigate is like telling the world, 
Not now. I'm enjoying the open road and my freedom. Your frigate and your freedom are waiting at your local Schubert Motor Company dealer, America's most trusted automaker since 1907. Why, there's Jane with her new Smith Automotive Custom 200. Hello, Jane. Say, what are you doing with your Custom 200? I'm just packing up the trunk for a family picnic. <coughs> Loading up the kids and Scruffy here, and then we're going to pick up Dad and Uncle Floyd. Gee whiz, that's a lot. Just how are you going to manage it all? Oh, I don't need to worry about that with my Smith Custom 200. It's the leader in its class for trunk space and seat space, so I can do all this and more in just one trip. All that and more with the Smith Custom 200. For performance that really shines, Smith is first in line. Hi, I'm motion picture and television star Denny McAvery, and I'm proud to say that I fought for our country in the Second World War. That's why I'm extra proud to partner up with Smith Automotive Company to help raise money for local VA hospitals. All this month, when you test drive a brand new Smith Custom 200, Smith will donate $5 to the VA nearest you. It will help those servicemen who are still, to this day, affected by the war. So get behind the wheel of today's hottest car, the Smith Custom 200 and feel good about doing it. Take it from me, Denny McAvery. For performance that really shines, Smith is first in line. Thank you. Thunder, 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 thunderbolts! Hey guys, why drive just a regular old car when you can drive a... Thunderbolt! That's right, the Smith Thunderbolt. The stylish man's car of choice, with its finely tuned dual overhead cam, American-made engine, and plush leather interior. You'll not only be thrown into the back of your seat when you hit the gas pedal, you'll never want to get out of it. The Smith Thunderbolt. Brand new and ready to roll. Smith Automotive. For performance that really shines, Smith is first in line. Yeah, yeah! We have to move faster, Talon. We'll never get to the bridge in time to save Jasmine. Master Ranger, Talon thinks Smith Thunderbolt get us there faster. Yes, it would, old friend. But I could never afford such a sleek-looking, high-performance automobile. Talon know that Thunderbolt more affordable than Master Ranger think. Him can probably buy Thunderbolt right now. Wow. All right then, old friend. Let's go get a Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah! The Smith Thunderbolt. For performance that really shines, Smith is first in line. What's wrong, Mr. Wilson? Oh, nothing, Darren. I'm just a little tired from hauling all these milk bottles, that's all. Well, you know what you need then? What's that, Darren? A nice, refreshing, swift cola. Here you go. Ah. Boy, that's refreshing. i better get going now. I've got a lot more milk to deliver today, and now I've got the energy to do it. Yes, that's right, Mr. Wilson. Thanks to Swift Cola. When you need a lift, you need a Swift. Hey, Wally. Quit working so hard. You know it's break time, right? Can't, pal. I got a big date tonight, so the boss said I could take off early if I got all my work done. Well, what would you say if I told you I had two ice-cold Swift Colas for us? I'd say... It's break time! Any time is the right time for a Swift. Now, first things first. Nothing gets you more energy than a Swift Cola. Secondly, nothing gets you more energy than a Swift Cola. No, I'm not losing my marbles. I'm simply stating a fact that can't be missed. It's worth repeating that the best possible way to get that extra ounce of energy for the big meeting, for the next at-bat or playtime with Junior, is a Swift. So the next time you're feeling sluggish or tired, grab an ice-cold Swift. When you need a lift... You need a Swift. Fish ain't biting much today, huh? We gotta find a better spot. Boy, you said it, Wayne. And this heat sure isn't making it any better. Well, we'll keep working on the fishing part. But I got some Swift Cola right here to help with the heat. Now that hits the spot. Now we just need to find the fishing spot. <laughs> <laughs> Swift Cola! Any time is the right time for a Swift. Morning, honey. Did you sleep okay? <sighs> I feel like I'm still asleep. Mmm, <laughs> is that what I think it is? It sure is. Montesino coffee. Nothing but the best for you, sweetie. With Montesino coffee, you'll be up and running lickety split. Mmm, dark roasted fresh Colombian beans. I love my Montesino. Make your morning a Montesino morning. Hear that? 
That's the sound of a day getting off to a good start. That's the sound of the freshest Colombian coffee beans when they've reached the end of their journey from the bean fields to your coffee cup. That's the sound of Montesino coffee, and it's just minutes away from being ready. That's your cup of Montesino coffee. Make your morning a Montesino morning. Hello, I'm motion picture star and noted beer connoisseur Marion Barlow, and I'm here to tell you about Master Beer. It's simply the freshest bottled beer you'll find. From the brewery to your local grocer, Master Beer ensures that your beer stays fresh. That's why it's the only beer I drink after a tough day on the set. So take it from me, Marion Barlow. Grab yourself a nice cold Master Beer and enjoy. For beer refreshment and a good time, Master makes all the difference. What can I get you, buddy? I don't know. Uh, how about a beer? Well, I could serve you just any beer. But you look like a man who has good taste. That's why I'm going to recommend a Master Beer. Master Beer? Yeah. Try one. <sighs> wow. That is good beer. <laughs> don't I know it. For a good time, Master Beer makes all the difference. <laughs> This beer is terrible. What brand is this? It's whatever was on sale at the grocery store. Well, it tastes like you got it out of a horse trough. Why didn't you pick up some master beer? Well, I didn't think there'd be any difference, to be honest with you. Well, no, partner. Master beer is made with the freshest ingredients and makes any time a good time. Well, then, looks like I'll be buying master beer from now on. <laughs> Darn tootin' you will. For a good time, Master Beer makes all the difference. Gosh, Betty, I don't think the kids could have a better time than they're having right now. Boy, don't you know it, hon. Now we can just sit back and enjoy a cold beverage. Here, darling, that's why I packed us some Master Beer. Looks like we're all having a better time now. <laughs> For a good time, Master Beer makes all the difference. Master Beverage Company, Empire Bay. Hey, Dick. Did you hear about President Truman? What about him? He just approved the production of the hydrogen bomb. Really? First I've heard of it. You didn't get the Empire Times this morning, did you, Dick? Why, no. No, I didn't. Don't be like Dick. Get the Empire Times delivered to your door daily and stay informed. The Empire Times. All the news you need to know. Hello, Broyhill Household. This is Mrs. Broyhill speaking. Hello, Pam. This is Karen. How are you? Gee whiz, Karen. You sound almost like you're standing right next to me. That's because I switched to the new Empire Telecom telephone service. It was just made available in my neighborhood. Is that right? You betcha. Just call your local Empire Telecom office to see if the service is available in your area. Say, while I have you on the line... Can I borrow two cups of sugar? Uh, what's that, dear? You're breaking up. Uh, must be a bad connection. No, it's not. <laughs> Empire Telecom. Connect with those you love. Oh, hello, Mildred. Oh, hi, Doris. Oh, my. Do you still have your apron on? Oh, yes, I got this at Dipton Apparel. I love it so much I wear it no matter what I'm doing. That's right, Doris. Dipton Apparel has the widest selection of general everyday use clothing and at a great price, too. Dipton Apparel. Remember, we're not just in Dipton anymore. Vangel's Clothing, outfitting you for success. Just listen to what our customers have to say. I needed something sharp for a big presentation at work, and the friendly salesman at Vangel's found me the perfect suit. Vangel's tailoring department was able to hem an embarrassing rip in my pants right away. The Vangel's family has been in the clothing and tailoring business since 1922, so they know quality and won't give you the runaround on price. Vangel's Clothing, style that won't break the bank. Hello, I'm noted international explorer Sir David Devonshire. You know of all the travelling I've done in my career, from Texas to Tanzania, from Liverpool to Lost Heaven, I've always had my suitcase from Roomy Luggage. My Roomy suitcase has all the space I need for my pith helmets, rhino sedatives and then some. So take it from me, Sir David Devonshire, the luggage so roomy it can only be roomy. Holds everything you need. For travelling that ain't a thing. 
Nothing beats the Road King. Road King Bus Company, serving Empire Bay for over 40 years. Road King. Road King. With over 50 plush and comfortable seats per bus, nobody beats the Road King. Road King. Road King. And with modern conveniences like bathrooms, footrest, and more, you'll feel right at home in a Road King bus. Road King. Road King. Trusted for over 40 years. For traveling, that ain't a thing. Nothing beats the Road King. Now with air conditioning in every bus. The turn of the century saw some startling revelations in our country, but none more prominent than that of abstract expressionism. At Shiro Miro Furniture, we've been on top of that trend before it was hot. And at Shiro Miro, we only carry the new. Everything else is just old news. Chiro Miro, elegant, modern design for every room in the house. Hi folks, I'm Steve Johansson, owner of Grassland Furniture. You know, ever since my father and mother came here from Sweden, my family has had one thing on its mind, and that's low-priced furniture. Nobody has cheaper furniture than we do. We make it all in-house, so there's no middleman. Featuring nightstands, armoires, coat racks, and other exciting items for your home. Grassland Furniture has the biggest selection at the lowest prices. So, come on down to Grassland Furniture. We left out the middleman so we can be right on the price. Karen, is that you? Shh, don't say my name too loud. Why are you hiding behind that bush and wearing those sunglasses? I don't want anyone to see me here at Shoon and Sons. Why's that, dear? Because if my friends see me at Shoon and Sons, they'll think I'm buying low quality grocery items. Oh, that's just silly, Karen. At Shoon and Sons, the only thing that's low are the prices. Their items are the exact same ones you'd find at those other stores, but at a much better price. Shoon and Sons Grocers, the best items and rock bottom prices. Pharmaceuticals, they're the cornerstone of the medical profession and a necessary part of your health and recovery. At North Dermot Pharmacy, we have the pharmaceuticals you need. Whether it's aspirin for that stubborn headache or a pack of cigarettes to help calm your nerves, you can rest assured that we have it. So for all your pharmaceutical needs, come to North Dermot Pharmacy, Empire Bay's first name in pharmaceuticals. She means the world to you. So why not show your gal that you care with a beautiful diamond pendant necklace from Goldman Jewelers or our exclusive Honeydew Golden Bracelet. It's only $4.95 while supplies last and it's only at Goldman Jewelers, Empire Bay's number one jewelry store. When you want to show her you truly care, come to Goldman Jewelers. Better up! Hey, Rube! Can't you wait till the end of the game before smoking your cigars? It's the bottom of the ninth with two outs for crying out loud. Oh, this isn't just any cigar. This is a Rafael Schwartz. The finest hand-rolled Cuban cigars available in Empire Bay. Well, it sure does smell good. And it's got a rich flavor with a long, slow smoke that can last for hours. Rube! Yeah! Rap! Say, what's the big deal? This game is over. I'm gonna go pick up a box of Rafael Schwartz cigars right now. <laughs> the Fur Shop is here to make you feel fabulous. As Empire Bay's leading fur retailer, you won't find anyone with a wider selection of quality pelts. Mink stoves, fox mufflers, and more are at the Fur Shop. For those romantic nights by the fire, we also sell black, grizzly, and brown bearskin rugs. So come down to the fur shop and see why you'll feel fabulous in fur only at the fur shop. Hello, I'm David P. Tenenbaum, president of the Grand Imperial Bank. If the depression of the 1930s taught us anything, it is that your money needs to be protected. That's why I want you to know that here at Grand Imperial Bank, all of your deposits are insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, guaranteeing that your money is there when you need it. This is in addition to our state-of-the-art safeguards and security measures, so you know your money is safe. Remember, your money is your future, and here at Grand Imperial Bank, your future is secure with us. Hey, Pop, what's in this can over here? That there is Motril Glow motor oil, Timmy. 
It keeps our car running smoothly. Well, can't we just use any old motor oil? Not on my watch, son. Motril Glow is the same motor oil that our military used in World War II and Korea. And if it's good enough for Uncle Sam, it's good enough for the family car. Makes sense to me, Pop. Pick up some Motril Glow motor oil today. Your car will thank you. Hello there. I'm motion picture star Benjamin Chang. You may remember me from the hit movie Brink of the Eye. You know, for the best in fine oriental dining, I go to the Red Dragon Restaurant. The Wang family has been making traditional Chinese food for generations, and they serve it in a setting that's nothing but the tops, baby. The Red Dragon is decked out in traditional oriental fare, just as grand as their food. Take it from me, Benjamin Chang. Head on over to the Red Dragon Restaurant in Chinatown for the best feast from the Far East you'll ever have. <laughs> As a certified realtor, I can get you the house of your dreams. Hi, folks. This is Richard Beck of Richard Beck Realty, the final answer in real estate. We treat all of our clients like family, and satisfaction is guaranteed. Whether you're in the market for a mansion in Hillwood or a fixer-upper in Sand Island, we can help. So, if it's time for a new home, give us a call today at 555-6214. That's 555-6214. Hey, this is Little Bobby Drummond, and nothing says rock and roll like Rick's Records. Hoo-wee! Empire Bay was shaking loose like Dolly when they got Rick's Records in town. And I should know, because I wrote the song, Lordy Lord. Lord. And don't forget to buy my new record at Rick's Records. For all the hottest LPs and singles, go to Rick's Records. Hoo-wee! Introducing the all-new Ascot Motors Bailey S200. The Bailey is the most refined automobile on the road today. With its distinctive looks and butter-smooth handling, it's a must-have auto for the sophisticated gentleman who wants it all. Head down to your local Ascot Motor Company dealer and see the new Bailey today. Sophisticated gentlemen choose Ascot Motors. Introducing the all-new Wasp from the Houston Car Company. Now sporting the largest displacement eight-cylinder engine in the world, which is why it's the preferred choice of the Empire Bay Racing Circuit. Also featuring the new patented Step Low feature, the Wasp has more legroom and more style than ever. Visit your Houston car dealer today and prepare to be amazed by the all-new Houston Wasp. For power and style, your Houston dealer is your first and last stop. Oh, this is Talon from television show The Masked Ranger. Every week I drive to the set of The Masked Ranger show in my Potomac Indian. It has four doors for me, my squaw, and the little members of our tribe. The Indian has much space in back seat for kids to play, and the trunk has more than enough room for my bow and arrow and golf clubs. So if you're like me, with a big tribe and lots of tribe things, you need a Potomac Indian. For a quality car that doesn't take all your wampum, Potomac Indian is the smart choice. Excuse me? Mm, yes? Are those Daniel White Dove tires? Right, uh, yes. Yes, they are. Oh, smashing old chap. Then they do have double steel belted walls for traction and control. But of course, wrapped in only the best Polynesian rubber roll wrap. Excellent. Onward, Jefferson. We're getting the car some new White Dove tires. Get peace of mind with Daniel White Dove tires. Well, hey there, Al. Hey there yourself, Charlie. What brings you to the service station today? I'm just here waiting for my new Speedstone Alpha tires to be installed. Speedstone Alphas? You don't say! Yep, they're available at every service station in Empire Bay. And they're quite affordable, too. Come to think of it, my tires are probably due for a change, too. Maybe I should get some Alphas. Speedstone Alpha Tires. Performance that outclasses the competition. Available at all Empire Bay service stations. Aloha. I'm Isadora Tualamala. You know, ever since my husband Gary founded Honolulu Hot Dogs 15 years ago, we've prided ourselves on serving Empire Bay, the finest the Hawaiian Islands have to offer. 
Honolulu hot dogs have the taste of the islands in every bite, and they'll make your little ones smile more than a day at the beach. Honolulu hot dogs, from our family to yours. Mommy, this ketchup's all runny. Oh no, now dinner is ruined. That's what I get for buying a generic brand of ketchup. I should have picked up a bottle of Bunt's ketchup instead. That's right, Mom. Two out of three moms prefer Bunt's ketchup, the only ketchup you can count on. Head down to your local grocer and pick up Empire Bay's favorite ketchup, Bunt's ketchup. Humphrey Whiskey urges you to take the whiskey taste test. Simply pour Brandex into a highball glass and pour Humphrey Whiskey into another glass. Taste X and then Humphrey and you will notice the difference. Humphrey Whiskey has a dark, rich and velvety smooth taste, while Brand X is almost bitter in comparison. That's not a quality whiskey. Humphrey Whiskey is quality whiskey. Humphrey Whiskey is excellence distilled into pleasure. What do we do when we want a fine beer? What do we do when good times draw near? What do we do when we want good cheer? Cheers to Old Empirical! Way, hey, Old Empirical! Way, hey, Old Empirical! Way, hey, Old Empirical! Any time of day! Oh, what do we do when we want a fine beer? What do we do when good times draw near? What do we do when we want fine cheer? Cheers to Old Empirical! Way, old empirical, way, old empirical, way, old empirical, here's to old empirical. Pour our ale and share the notion, old empirical deserves devotion. Drink the beer that rules the ocean. Cheers to old empirical. Way, old empirical, way, old empirical, way, old empirical, best beer in the bay. Place, park, scene, dark, silvery moon is shining through the trees. Cast to me, you, sound of kisses floating on the breeze. Act one, be.